Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the stream today, man. Uh, since last week, what did we do? We... I did a little bit of grinding. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. I got up like one level. I guess the biggest thing was I just uh, collected some chests from around Agrabah and uh, completed that cup that we died on last week in the Olympus Coliseum. I went back and did that and I did the, the solo of the first cup. I don't think there's anything else. I didn't do any story content or anything. I just loaded into that same area that I just popped up from and then instantly like hopped on the gummy ship and just went off and started started screwing around a little bit, you know? Getting us prepared for, for today. Hopefully that that extra level will do a little bit for us in terms of not dying too much. I mean, I don't think we were having too, too much trouble with it. Uh, we did obviously lose the Olympus Coliseum fight last time. But other than that, I think things have been going relatively smoothly. But regardless, though, that extra level should help out a little bit. And who's going to say no to some extra levels anyways? You know what I mean? Uh, I also, I remember, I think I showed it last night. Uh, that I got Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix. My my Japanese copy of it came in yesterday. So I, I booted it up today just to make sure that it was working and whatnot. And it is. It's wonderful. I did also download the English patch for it. But I haven't had a chance to actually mess around with that at all yet to see if it works. From what I've read, the English patch for... Hey, Mr. Noodle. The English patch for Kingdom Hearts 1 isn't as good as the one for number 2. Um... It's closer to the base game, which I do appreciate, but uh, there's a couple bugs in it that probably aren't going to be fixed in terms of like some some things that you're supposed to unlock. Uh, an ability or, or a journal entry or something. A couple of the bugs have been fixed, but there's, there's still one or two that exist. No big deal unless you're going for like 100% completion or whatever, then it could be a little bit annoying, but otherwise not the end of the world. Uh, we're probably not gonna mess around with that one though, but I still like having it for my own personal collection And I don't know maybe maybe someday we'll play the ps2 version of final mix, but it's like honestly Other than because of the fact that I wanted to have it. Why would you play the ps2 version when ps3 and 4? Versions exist. I'm pretty sure hey Nilo. I'm pretty sure there's also Didn't they they end up releasing like the all for one? pack or something like that on the Xbox One as well. Point being, there's a bunch of different ways to play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix at this point without having to resort to either playing through in Japanese or using an English patch that, that may or may not be bugged. <laughs> like, it's still it's still cool to have, and that's, that's, why, that's why I had them imported for the collection. But yeah, if I want to play Final Mix, I'm probably just going to boot up one of those other copies if we're, if we're being real. Now, for the sake of playing all the PlayStation 2 games, we probably will play the uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix with the English patch on PS2. But that's just because I'm trying to play through a bunch of games on the PlayStation 2. If it were just for me, I would probably just play the PS4 copy to be honest. Or PC, if they ever get around to releasing it on PC. Or, well, on Steam, that is. I guess it is on the Epic Games Store, but I don't like having a bunch of extra launchers downloaded on my computer. Clogging things up. If I remember from last time, I think we're trying to get to... Ursula? I don't quite remember how to get there. I've forgotten a lot over the past week. But I'm pretty sure. What's my stance on Fire Emblem? I've never actually played one of them. But the series as a whole looks very interesting to me. I, I love RPGs. Um, and tactics games. And tactical turn-based RPGs. So, like... <laughs> honestly, it seems like the sort of thing that would be right up my alley. But I've never actually tried one of them before. So, I just I just need to. That's, the, <laughs> that's all there really is to it. I just need to spend the time to actually uh, get a hold of a copy of one of them and, uh, and, and try it out. Fire Emblem started on what? Was it the original Nintendo or the Super Nintendo that it started on? I know it's a pretty old series, but I can't remember exactly how old. 
NES? Yeah. So I knew it was old. I just couldn't remember if it was like a true OG or just like super early in <laughs> Nintendo's history. In your opinion, I'm, I'm assuming that you've played a few of them. In your opinion, which one is uh, the best one to get started with? Speaking of tactical turn-based RPGs, though, I really want to try out uh, that Tactics Order game. I've heard of it previously, uh, just from, from being on the internet and seeing different games that were, you know, Japanese exclusive and whatnot that, that never came to, to America. But they just had... I think they called it Tactics Over Reborn or whatever. I really want to get a hold of that one one of these days and give it a give it a try too. The only problem really there is time. Okay, so if the castle's that way, we probably need to go this way. Oh, you've only tried each one for 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. So not 100% certain yourself, then, is what it's sounding like. I mean, the most accessible version for myself personally would probably be if there's one on the Switch, which I think there is, but I could be mistaken on that. Um, so if I do end up trying them out, that's probably the one I would go for. I think at some point, didn't they switch to handheld at some point too? Like they started on console, but then they went to the, to like the DS and stuff like that. I could be mistaken there, but I, I, I'm pretty sure that's what happened with them. GBA and then the DS, yeah. Which is too bad, just because like, if I ever decided that I wanted to stream them or anything, it's just a lot harder to do that without emulation. Which, don't get me wrong, I, I'm a big fan of emulation, but generally for streaming, I try to do real hardware. Well, actually, I've only done real hardware or official emulation on stream. Okay, so... Can we go this way? Yeah, we'll just get sucked into the stream and get pushed down. But there should be a dolphin over here, hopefully, that will help us up the, the whatever you want to call that. Underwater current? Slipstream? Something? Hey, okay, Donald with the defense up. Hopefully that means he won't die quite as much, but uh, <laughs> I'm not going to hold my breath there. there's one thing Donald likes to do, man, it's die. He has been relatively helpful, especially since Goofy has gotten the, I don't remember the name of the ability, but the one that lets him spend his own MP to refill a uh, party member's MP. He's been a lot more useful since then. Like, there we go, he just did it there. That lets him do his uh, cure and stuff a lot more often. Game Boy Player on GameCube, with or without flash card, or with a modded 3DS capture card? Yeah, that's the thing, like, well, okay, so Game Boy, that wouldn't actually be all that bad. I, I do have a GameCube, and I do have a Game Boy Player, so, like, I can do that, and I've tested it out. It works pretty well on stream. We played a uh, tiny bit, not very much at all, but a tiny bit of Harry Potter, the, the Game Boy Color game. So I only have a couple Game Boy games these days. I lost most of my collection from when I was a kid. But Noodle, thankfully, had, uh, from when she was a kid still, Harry Potter on the Game Boy Color, as well as Pokemon Crystal. So we tried those out. It worked, it worked well. Uh, and then modded 3DS capture card. Yeah, that's, that's a little more of a pain in the ass. I don't have a problem doing console mods. I have a couple of modded consoles. But, like... Thank you for pointing that out. I'll turn it down. Uh, right around there, hopefully, should be decent. Um, but, like, what the hell was I saying? Oh, yeah, but but from from what I've seen, I haven't looked much into it, but the the 3DS mod for, for, for capture is a bit of a pain in the ass from what I've seen. 
so I don't know I don't know how I feel about that one. There's also the uh, another mod that I want to do one of these days is the Game Boy Advance Consolizer kit. There's a bunch of different ones out there, um, but it basically just take a a Game Boy Advance and get a, a custom little shell to go with it for a uh, along with some mods for like HDMI output and whatnot, so that you can use it as if it were a game console and. If, it works with like a uh, Super Nintendo con controller or something like that. Really cool. I would love to do that mod one of these days too. I mean, the Game Boy player on on the GameCube works fantastically, but I think it would just be a neat thing to have. Consoleizer should be the best thing, yeah. Because I mean, then you're essentially playing on on 100% real hardware, just with with HDMI output attached to it, which is pretty cool. I mean, if it comes down to it, as far as, like, DS stuff goes, I may end up, if I ever do play a P uh, DS or 3DS game on stream, I may just give up and do emulation for something like that. I'll just have to look more into the mod first and decide if it's something that seems like it's worth doing. <laughs> you should play Harry Potter again, get all the views. Yeah, that was weird, man. I mean, I'm like 99% sure that was a fluke, but <laughs> that that one one stream we did of of Harry Potter on the the Game Boy Color just got like for us a, a crazy amount of views. Because generally speaking, we get like I don't know on on vods on Twitch between like 15 and 35 generally speaking or something i think that one before twitch ended up taking it down after it's two weeks or whatever was up to like 100 or something like that which that is pretty pretty decent for us man yeah i mean i know the game boy player is essentially real hardware too but it does have some incompatibilities with i mean it's it's not like important stuff it's like game boy uh what, what are those videos called and that may be more of a software thing than a hardware thing. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that. I use the Game Boy Interface player anyways, instead of the, the official Nintendo Game Boy player disc. For two reasons. One, it's expensive. And two, from everything I've seen, the Game Boy Interface homebrew has a lot better uh, output than the, than the official one does anyways. But yeah, like I said, that may be a uh, a software thing, though. The the small handful of games that don't work. GBI is definitely better than the original disc. So I said everything I've seen online seems to say so. So I was like, my local retro game shop had a Game Boy Player, no disc, but a Game Boy Player for for a decent price. So I was like, look, if I can just grab that and then use a, a free piece of homebrew instead, then why the hell wouldn't I? If it's if it's legitimately better, which, again, it seems to be. Everything I've seen says it's better. So, like, it just seems dumb not to, honestly. But it works fantastically. Like, I haven't had a single issue with, with Game Boy Interface and the, uh, the Game Boy Player. It's a really neat kit. I mean, like, when I was a kid, I loved playing um, using the N64 in Pokemon... Uh, what's it called? Pokemon, Pokemon Stadium. Uh, it was so much fun to play the Pokemon Red, Blue, and, and Yellow games on there using that kit. So I always thought it would be neat to be able to play the other games. But honestly, until I was a little bit older, I didn't even know that Game Boy interface or, or rather Game Boy player was a thing for the GameCube. I'm going to die. Son of a bitch. Um, and then by the time I did know about it, I was, you know, a little bit older. Didn't really see the, the point in spending the money on it. <laughs> Especially whenever you consider how much the, the official disc is. 
but now with streaming, it was just like, it, I don't know, all the stars just aligned. It was like, it just seemed like the perfect time to set it up. Scales the native output resolution perfectly, which the official disc does not seem to do. Much softer in comparison. Yeah, and there's different versions of GBI too that you can use, which is which is cool. Like if you're a speedrunner, there's 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 a version specifically for that. If you care more about visuals than anything else, there's a version for for that. Um, and then there's like the mainline version. So you can kind of customize your experience a little bit too, and it just has more options in general, which is which is nice. Okay, this is where we were meant to be going, right? Oh, nope. Examine. Need some help? I'll show you how it's done. Consolizer has HDMI, though. Yes, which is nice. I don't remember what the output resolution is for the one I was looking at. I think 720p. Uh, and normally, I capture at 1200p via a RetroTank 5X. But, I mean, I'll still take... 720p you know and from what i've seen on youtube they they the output on those things looks excellent super crisp with a couple different uh palette options too depending on what you want your your output to look like i don't know off the top of my head i can't remember if the consoleizer has support for super game boy and stuff like that, like the uh, the extended color palettes that some Game Boy Game Boy Color games had. I don't think it did, but I could be wrong there. As long as you can tone down the gamma, count me in. I mean, if nothing else, uh, one of the benefits of playing through something like OBS or capturing with something like OBS is that you can do that in post as well. I know there's at least two or three different options for the consoleizer. Um, I'm sure there's pros and cons to each of them. If there's a specific thing you don't like about one of them. Flashcards are really cool. I wanna, I have one for my Sega Genesis. It's just super convenient, right? Like being able to have, I don't have a large Genesis library, only a handful of games, but it's super convenient to just be able to throw in the one flashcard and have access to all of my Sega Genesis games instead of having to, to swap them out all the time. It's also better for in the long term for the contacts and things like that on the those old games and consoles. And then with a handheld console like the Game Boy, it's even more convenient because now it's you're going from any time you're out, assuming you know you take it with you to play places, you're going from having to carry a handful of Game Boy Advance games and either some sort of carrier or just loosen your bag or whatever, to now you just have everything on one cartridge that you can just leave in the console, which is super convenient, honestly. I forget what the trick is for Ursula. Like, I see her cauldron down there. I think we're supposed to be doing something with it, but I can't remember what it is. <laughs> She's also kind of kicking our ass, dude. But yeah, I, I do plan on getting more flashcards here soon. Probably, I don't know if I want to start with my original Nintendo, Super Nintendo. Like, I don't know which one, but... I've looked at a handful of them. Oh, this bitch. Without toning down the gamma on other displays except the original hardware has extremely strong colors. I'd be surprised if some of the consoleizers don't have options for that. Or at the very least, like I said, you can always do that in post for for someone like me at least that, that generally plays through OBS, so I don't have to switch my <laughs> my monitor's input over. 
It's just it's just easier for me to load up OBS. It does introduce a few frames of lag, but like yeah, the consoleizer does have game options. Okay, I mean I figured it would, but I couldn't remember for sure. It's been a little while since I've watched any of those videos about it. Yes, GBI definitely does. I remember that. Okay, hold on. Wasn't there another path down here? Maybe we should go down that way first since Ursula is kind of kicking our ass. Uh, okay. So I think it's left. Hello, ghosty boys. Try not to waste all of your MP before we get into the Ursula fight there, Donald. What's this cavern something? Mega Ether, not bad. Oh, and a save point. Very nice. Uh, I mean, I guess we might as well. Doesn't hurt anything to throw down a quick save. You don't need different consoles, yet you don't spend money on games like at all. I have, uh... I mean, I don't know the exact count, but I have every Nintendo console except for... Like, at least one revision of it, each Nintendo console, except for the, uh... The Virtual Boy. I have every PlayStation console except for the Vita TV. Um... At least one revision of each. Two of most of them. And then I have the Sega Genesis with the whole Tower of Power set up, like the 32X and the Sega CD. And then I have the Sega Dreamcast. And I only play games that I have. I spend way too much money on them, to be honest. Mostly on PS2 stuff, especially, you know, these days. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, not all of mine are. Um... But, like, I have a hard-modded PlayStation 1. I have a memory card that lets me soft-mod the PlayStation 1 as well. Um, PlayStation 2, I have one soft-modded, one just regular, no mods at all. Uh, and that's the one that I use to stream with. And then my Wii U is soft mod, Or, I'm sorry, my Wii is soft-modded. My GameCube is hard-modded. Uh, I have one soft-modded PS3. One just just regular. I haven't gotten around to modding a PS4 yet, but I, I do have two for that reason. I haven't decided which one I want to soft mod, whether it's the 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 pro or the the base unit. Which one I'm more interested in doing that in? But yeah, like I said, I'm I'm a big fan of mods. Don't get me wrong. I just uh, growing up, I had always said, you know, whenever I'm old enough to to support the creators, I'm going to. With retro games, a lot of times there's no way to, to support the creators, but I mean, it's the principle of it for me, I guess. Oh my god, dude. Ah, this chick. There's got to be a trick to her. Is it, does it have something to do with, like, do we use magic on her based off of what... The thing, what color it is, I don't... Hold on. So, like, fire? Ooh, that did something. I don't know exactly what it did, but it did do something. Do we have to do it again? I know there's a trick here. I just can't remember what the hell it is. You're switching PS4 or not modded. Yeah, I uh, so I plan on doing one of my PS4s, but I haven't yet. Um, and then my Switch, I actually have the release model Switch. And I'm very careful with that one specifically because I do plan on modding it eventually. But... As of right now, I, I generally don't mod stuff unless it's at least like one or two generations old, right? At the point, at that point, I consider it retro, so I'm like, ah, eh, whatever. 
which hence why I haven't rushed to mod the the PS4 yet. Is it like What's the trick with this thing? Oh my god, this thing's like shooting stuff out everywhere. Holy hell. <laughs> She doesn't even have that much health, but like, she can definitely output some damage though. Okay, so now it's blue. So maybe Blizzard now? Gotta dodge Ursula spinning. Yeah, like it's definitely doing stuff, but it doesn't seem to be helping us in any way. What if we, like, hit it with fire now? Oh. Okay, well. <laughs> touching that was not a good idea, man. <laughs> I thought I thought maybe it would do something useful. No, it just, <laughs> it just kicked our ass. That's what it did. All right. Um... Shoot, man, I might actually have to look up how to beat Ursula again. <laughs> it's been a little while, and I just can't remember. Two games you bought recently for emotional reasons, Kalanoa 2 and a GT3, and they were seven pounds each. That's not bad at all, man. I don't know the conversion exactly for, for pounds to dollars, but I know in America, the average price of a... Or euros, my bad. Um... I know here in America, the average price of a PlayStation 2 game is right around 12, 13 American dollars. I don't know how different that is for you, um, but I'm assuming that's under the average, so not bad. Around $8? So yeah. Assuming your games are roughly the same price as they are for me here, that's not bad at all, dude. Why did I do Cure? <laughs> I didn't mean to do Cure. I wanted to do... Okay, Thunder doesn't seem to do anything. I'm purely just doing, like... Research right now. <laughs> Magic. Blizzard. Magic. Blizzard again. Uh, try fire. Thanks for that, Goofy. Oh. Oh, that knocked her out. Let's go. Uh, can I lock on her, maybe? <laughs> we knocked her out and then aren't even going to get any damn hits in on her. So, what, do we just have to match the color of it a few times with our magic? I mean, I guess that makes sense, man. You think you scored well? Yeah, I would say so, from the sound of it. Okay, so now... Magic. Blizzard. Blizzard again. Bl Blizzard again. Ah, come on, dude. I keep getting hit. Okay. Is there like... There's got to be something more to it than just hitting it with whatever color it is. Because this is not working. There we go. Okay. The only thing is, we don't have very much magic left. <laughs> Hopefully, Goofy helps us out, man. Goofy can just be a bro and give us some magic here soon. Or we could just kill her now. That would work well, too. Come on, dude. Nope. 
All right, all right. Ignore those two. Oh wait, shit, that was fire. Uh, fire magic? Fire magic? It's not working. <laughs> Hold on, okay, it's, it's glowing. Come on, dude. Uh, okay. It's now blue. It's still blue. There we go. She's done, though. GG, boys. Let's go. We must get the trident back. Learn shared ability mermaid kick. To swim faster or against currents, equip this and press circle repeatedly. Dope. We don't even need the dolphin anymore. Abilities, shared mermaid kick, equip. Uh, there's part of me that says we should probably go save, but I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> What's well, the worst that could happen, right? Wait, how do we how do we swim up again? There it is. Examine. It's all clogged up. Let's look for another way. Oh. Never mind then. It's an outrage, it's so expensive. Oh! I didn't see the, the message you said about Klonoa too. Hundred and twenty dollars online. Holy hell, man. I think we talked about that before, actually. Because I mentioned that uh, it was one of the games that I was interested in, but I've never played. And I would love to get a hold of one of these days. Yeah. I thought so. It sounded familiar. There's a good handful of PS2 games like that. But I still can't be too mad because if you look at the price of, like, original Nintendo games. Holy shit, dude. Especially if you're talking about complete in-box copies. Just ridiculous. At least on PS2, there's only a handful of games here in America that are over, you know, like a hundred bucks. Whereas for Nintendo cartridges, that's like, <laughs> I mean, it's not actually, but I feel like it's half the damn catalog is, is super expensive like that. It's ridiculous. So we got the ability to swim against currents. So right here where we got dropped off by the dolphin. Maybe we go there, right? And then continue to swim up it. That might have been the trick. It's been a while. I can't remember for sure. But I think that'll get us to Ursula. Uh, I don't care about these guys. I'm just going to ignore them for now. Let's go. Maybe, maybe right here. Question mark, question mark, question mark. That's a good sign, dude. Too bad you're about to die, dude. <laughs> Ain't much gonna be bound to your power here in a moment. Uh, is she trying to eat me? <laughs> I'm not sushi, dude. I don't. <laughs> I'd prefer you didn't eat my ass. 
Oh God, you can't steer too well when you're doing this uh, quick swim thing. About to get your face wrecked, dude. Can we just out tank her damage? Honestly, maybe. Are you gonna heal us, Donald? Thank you. Uh, excuse me, Ursula? <laughs> You're back too big? I can't hit your face? <laughs> Chill, bro. Oh. That hurt, dude. Okay, so she does have some damage output at least. God. She just like took half our health. What did we get hit by? <laughs> it was all going so well. All right, so we probably need to stay over half health at least. Good to know. Where's the checkpoint gonna be? Right here, that's not bad. Uh, excuse me, e excuse me, wrong way. Oh my God, the dolphin swims so much more quickly than that. I really wish Kingdom Hearts 1 had a cutscene skip option as well. When I was messing around with the Final Mix version uh, today before I got on the stream, I, I was th hoping that the Final Mix version would have the cutscene skip, but it doesn't seem like it does either. Now, granted, I, I only got into like the very beginning where you, you first get control of Sora. So maybe you just can't skip the first cutscene for some reason and the rest are, but I'm assuming they didn't add that until Kingdom Hearts 2, the cutscene skip. need to heal soon there we go stay behind her head that's the perfect place to be dude maybe get up a little bit higher so we can actually hit her though okay uh hold on run away and heal uh that hurt excuse me do not appreciate that. I just healed, dude. Currently mass around with patching Naple Tail on Dreamcast. What's that game about? I don't think I've ever heard of it. Rom hacking is a pain in the ass. Are you making the the patch, or are you just applying one that you you downloaded somewhere? But generally speaking, the ones I find online that people have made aren't too bad to apply. Granted, every game is going to be a little bit different in that regard. As far as actually going about making the ROM hack? Yeah, dude. <laughs> I imagine that's a massive pain in the ass. And for what little bit I've read, it's much easier to do... You do Wii games, you don't know a thing, single thing about the Dreamcast. I got you. <laughs> but from what I've read, uh, it's a lot easier to do old cartridge-based games as well than it is to do like newer ISO-based games or anything like that. Just because... Uh, like, the older consoles were, were relatively simple machines, right? So if you replace a file, it's basically just going to work. Whereas with, with newer newer consoles, newer games, you actually have to, like... Oh my god, I'm going to actually die. You actually have to, like, apply patches and things, too. You can't just replace, like, say... say uh, some images or whatever. 
Dude, we're so close. Come on. One more health bar. Thank you for that, Goofy. I, I appreciate you, dog. You try to apply a patch, or rather you're trying. <laughs> I wish you luck, my guy. Okay, you know what? Run away and heal. Uh, don't get eaten? <laughs> she just say very tasty? She just called me tasty? Uh, heal me? Please? Holy hell, dude, that was scary. No, I don't want to be eaten. Come on, dude. She's so freaking close. All right. Everyone's dead but me. She only needs a couple more hits, though. If I can just hit her face. Come on. Let's go, dude. Donald can now carry more items and has second win. Very cool. We leveled up, too. I didn't see what we got. Maple Tail. I'm going to look that up real quick. I'm just curious what the game is. Dreamcast. Two and a half D platform game. Okay. I'm sensing a theme here. <laughs> Am I saying that wrong? I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but I did spell it right whenever I was looking it up. Is it is it N Nepal? Not Naple? Daddy, I'm so sorry. Please don't be angry with her. It's my fault. You followed Ursula because I wouldn't let you follow your heart. And when you found that crystal, I lost my temper and destroyed it. Oh yeah, the crystal. Why did you destroy it? That crystal held the power to reveal the keyhole. The keyhole is dangerous. I had to keep you away from it at any cost. Daddy. <laughs> Key bear, I have one more request. Seal the keyhole. My trident also holds the power to reveal the keyhole. Will you do it? Of course, that's what we had in mind from the start. Where is the keyhole, Daddy? <laughs> you should know better than anyone. It just seems awkward saying Daddy over and over again to you, sir. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Apple with an N? Napple? Is that it? Nap with L E? Naple. <laughs> you should know better than anyone. It's in your grotto. Really? Sora, let's go. Obtain the power of thunder. Thunder has been upgraded. Ansem's report number three. Let's read that real quick. Did we read the other one? Take some a moment sometimes. Look, I fully admit to being an idiot, dude. <laughs> Have we? Did we read this one? Noodle has some big brain. <laughs> she sure does, dude. Much of my life has been dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. That knowledge has guarded this world well. Not a soul doubts that I am blessed with my people's smiles and respect. But though I am called a sage, there are things I do not understand. I believe darkness sleeps in every heart, no matter how pure. Given the chance, the smallest drop can spread and swallow the heart. I have witnessed it many times. Darkness. Darkness of the heart. How is it born? How does it come to affect us so? As ruler of this world, I must find the answers. I must find them before the world is lost to those taken by the darkness. Amazon's Report 3. The shadows that crawl beneath the castle, are they the people who lost their hearts or incarnations of darkness, or something entirely beyond imagination? All my knowledge has provided no answer. One thing I am sure of is that they are entirely devoid of emotion. Perhaps further study will unlock the mysteries of the heart. Fortunately, there is no shortage of test samples. There are... Excuse me. They, they are multiplying underground even as I write this report. They still need a name. Those who lack hearts. I will call them the Heartless. All right, back to the, what is it? Ariel's, Ariel's Grotto, that's where we're going. Napple Tail is a two and a half D platform with an aesthetic akin to a Disney movie. Colorful, fantastic, etc. Very cool, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you're just a big fan of two and a half D platformers. Going purely off of uh, Klonoa and, and Napple Tail. Not really? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Wait a second. Where was the grotto? I don't remember where the grotto is. Hmm. 
You do love Klonoa to death, though. I do need to play it one of these days, man. So I can figure out what all the hype's, hype is about. I've heard good things, not only from you, but also from the internet. There it is. Oh, excuse me. No, down. I'll be so happy once we don't have to be in the water anymore. <laughs> I don't know why every game needs a damn water level. I just beat Spyro 3, uh, what, last night? Finished that one up. And, oh my lord, dude. <laughs> so many water levels. The water controls are pretty decent in Spyro 3, but still. I don't understand the obsession with it, man. Just give me regular levels. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't need to be swimming around. It's fine. You have three options playing the first one chronologically. PS1, Wii, and Fantasy Reverie series? What is... I, I mean, I know what PS1 and Wii are, but what is... It sounds vaguely familiar. Fantasy... Tell me, Sora. There it is. Your world? What's it like? All about that. Sorry for lying to you. <laughs> it's okay. Besides... If you can travel to other worlds, maybe I can too. So many places I want to see. I know I'll get there someday. I'll find a way, somehow. I'm sure of it. <sighs> well, if you find it, do me a favor and leave me out of it. It's an English word. Oh, no doubt it's an English word, but I've never heard it spoken before. <laughs> so it's like a, what, a remix? Or not a remix, or a re-release? I just Googled it real quick. It popped up on Amazon. Very cool. But did they did they ever remake the, the second one or just the first one then? Chocobo, what's up, my guy? Got to get that vote for uh, Final Fantasy X in. I feel it. This is from my collection. I want you to have it. The Crab Claw. Uh, isn't the Crab Claw like a short range piece of junk? <laughs> Equipment, Sora. So strength is the same, but it raises max MP by one. Enhances magic and summon power. Also deals decent physical damage. No, okay. It looks like it might actually be a little bit longer than the Three Wishes, so... I mean, I was gonna use it either way, because why the hell not, but... I do appreciate a decent reach on our Keyblade, though. Fantasy Rivalry Series is a 2-in-1, porting Klonoa 1, Wii, and Klonoa 2 PS2 to all modern platforms. Very nice. Did they Did they screw it up, or is it a decent port, though? I'm hoping it's a decent port, but you, <laughs> you never know, man. <laughs> there are sadly some not-so-great re-releases out there. Next world is... Halloween Town? I think. Pretty sure. Oh, god damn it. Sora, stop. <laughs> stop speeding around. It's either Halloween Town or uh, Neverland. I can't remember them. It's not perfect. Well, <laughs> that sucks. I mean, it's probably still a decent introduction for someone like me that's never played before. But yeah, it sucks that it's uh, got some issues. Okay, we're going to warp drive here and then go over. One suffers the most, two is fairly alright. Alright, being in italics. <laughs> alright. Uh. See, honestly, a lot of times whenever they, they port this stuff, I wish they would just, like, leave the game alone. <laughs> just upgrade the visuals, upgrade the visuals, uh... 
if they're like super out of date and make it run on modern platforms of course i guess just that act of making it work on modern platforms could be what's causing some problems so they may not port over like say the physics engine 100 percent accurately or whatever so then now all of a sudden your jumps feel different right the the length that you can jump could feel different the the rate at which you fall off of platforms and things like it's pretty easy to screw that sort of thing up i suppose still annoying though as much as i love like final fantasy 7 remake for instance there's a part of me that's always gonna wish that they had just ported the game made it pretty <laughs> maybe added a couple new cutscenes or whatever and called it a day but that just comes from my love of the original Final Fantasy 7. I can see how an action RPG is, is more in line with the general public's tastes, I would say. How it could bring in a, a wider audience of players. still a little bit annoying for someone like me though that just really wants to replay Final Fantasy 7 but with <laughs> prettier art there's a good bit of HD mods for 12 noted I don't think I've ever looked into modding 12 but I mean the port of 12 isn't all that bad so I guess it makes sense to have them but oh for 7 Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I have played a little bit with one of the uh, HD mods for 7. Um, like, it was... Don't get me wrong. It looks better, for sure. But I want it to look like Final Fantasy 7 Remake. <laughs> but just keep the gameplay of the original. I'm asking too much, but yeah. PS1 version had the better script. The Wii Make, <laughs> as it is called, is better presentation somewhat tries to combine the best of both worlds gotcha machinima bridge machinima abridged i'll watch it one of these days <laughs> you've only been telling me to watch it for what two years now <laughs> I'll, see, I'll see it sooner or later i was playing one of the uh whenever i did try final fantasy 7 with the hd mod i also had one of the gameplay mods installed i can't remember which one um it was a lot of fun i just never got around to completing it or anything too many other games to play honestly this sure is a spooky place i'll bet the people here are scary looking too don't worry we look spooky too if they scare us we'll scare them right back you think so The Wii Make has a god-awful execution of the story. <laughs> That's... Oh, boy. <laughs> that is not great. <laughs> new Threat. I think I watched uh, 4A Productions play a little bit of New Threat. Was that the one that I was playing? I can't remember. Yeah, I'm completely blanking on which one I had installed when I was messing around with it. And now, allow me to introduce the master of terror, the king of nightmares, Jack Ellington! Safer, Kate Thank said. You. But their movement still needs work. It's not scary enough. I want to strike bone chilling terror. I'm going to consult the doctor. Then I'll go attend to the decorations. Are we talking like Safer Sephiroth style boss battle with uh <laughs> with Kate Sith? <laughs> that's, that's the only thing that comes to mind when you say Safer Kate Sith. Like that makes any sense at least. Yes. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. 
Sorry, you're raging. No problem, man. Imagine protagonist Klonoa is a rather fleshed out character in the PS1 version, having a good amount of dialogue. The Wii makes strips, no joke, over 80% of his spoken dialogue and makes the second main character do the talking exclusively. Uh, <laughs> were they trying to do like a spin-off series using that second character or something? Like why take the main character and, and strip all his dialogue from him? That makes no sense at all. I mean, I'm not invested in this at all, so I can't really get as angry as you are about it. But from an outsider perspective, even, that makes no sense. <laughs> Welcome to Halloween Town. That's quite a costume you got there. To our town, Halloween means everything. Jack and the rest of us are always looking for new ways to scare people. These Heartless just care not about us. They will sooner or later. Where? Here it is. Can I get up here now? Oh, there it is. I remember there's hidden chests around here. I just don't quite remember where. Dalmatian puppies. I need to turn those in sooner or later. We have a small handful of them. Is it three times we had to pull the string? Why the hell is Goofy just jumping repeatedly, dude? <laughs> oh, there goes Donald. Donald decided to have a little hop, too. What the hell are you guys doing, man? Oh, camera fucked there for a second. Uh, nothing down here, right? Doesn't look like it. don't understand. Maybe the guidance system was damaged in the explosion. Nonsense. My devices are always perfect. Oh, I've got it. Why, of course. The heartless need a heart. Doctor, do you think we can add a heart to that device? Certainly. A heart's not all that complicated. Ah, let's get to work. To make a heart, first take a container with a lock. We need the key to this thing first! Really gonna unlock it for them? Why not? If they succeed, we won't have to fight the Heartless, right? Besides, I want to see the Heartless dance too, don't you? <laughs> Not really. I'm with Donald on this one, dude. <laughs> I don't know if I really want to watch the Heartless dance around, man. That was amazing. Uh, and you are... Sora. Well done, Sora. I'd like you to be a part of this year's Halloween. What's this Heartless doing here? Oh, the Heartless came to town just recently. What's frustrating is I can't get them to dance with me. So, the doctor and I are trying to improve the guidance system. He's quite a genius. Okay, Doctor, let's continue. The ingredients for a heart. Pulse. Emotion. Terror. Fear. Hope and despair. Mix them all together, and we have a heart. We're missing some ingredients. Let's try adding memory. Sally? Sally! Good for nothing girl. Don't know why I bothered creating her. Sally's got the memory we need. See if you can track her down. No problem. Sora, would you like to come along? Sure. Sure thing, my guy. Why not? 
Still can't re recommend PRS over the PS1 version. As annoying as that might sound for me, you were annoyed just as much. Yeah, I, I mean, f oh, strictly for accessibility reasons, there's a chance I would play PRS over the other ones to get started. Uh, of course, I guess that depends on how early I need to pick up Klonoa 2 for PS2. How much is... That is not how you spell it, whatever. Uh, okay, in America, Klonoa 2 is about $62 for a complete inbox. That's not too bad. And then the first one, holy crap, for a complete inbox in America is about $400 for the first one. For just the disc, it's currently sitting at about 202 <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> and then yeah, the uh PRS is sitting at between 30 and uh 47. <laughs> like that's a lot cheaper, my guy. For the Wii it's not too bad. For the Wii it's $40, 40 41 for for complete inbox. Like that's not too bad. That's that's reasonable. <laughs> I prefer my retro games to be, like, in the $15 range, but I can deal with under full price. You know, that's 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 acceptable. Hundreds. Of, I just, oh man, I don't know. I don't get it. We have a major crisis. The heartless are completely out of control. We can't stop them. Hmm, maybe our experiment triggered something. Everything will be fine, Mayor. You have nothing to worry about. Don't just tapping his foot. Yeah, he prefers soft modding. I get it. I 100% I get it, man. Honestly, like, something I've been thinking of a lot recently. Um, and I'm sure it's for, like, licensing reasons or something. But it's so weird to me that video games have such relatively short lifespans in terms of, you know, print runs. Because if you look at, like, CDs or, or DVDs or or whatever, you know, like, they're, they're still printing DVDs that originally came out in, in the 90s or, hell, the 80s and things like that. Now, obviously, they weren't on DVD back then, but the, the content was. It's been upgraded for DVD. Um, but, like, let's say early 2000s movies, right, that originally came out on DVD, they're still printing those. Why the hell isn't that sort of thing done with games? Is is there just not a large enough market for retro games to make it worth it? Is it because of, like, licensing reasons? Which, honestly, is what I imagine the problem actually is. But it's still just annoying to me. Wouldn't it be cool if, like DVDs, you could just go to whatever shop, say, I don't know, for, for America here, Walmart, um, and then just, just pick up some classic PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 games from, from a dump bin full of cheap games? Like, that would be really freaking cool, man. But sadly, it doesn't work that way. Unless, unless you're looking for music and movies, then, then you can get five dollar movies that used to used to be worth, you know, twenty, thirty bucks, no problem. I wonder how much it would cost to get someone like Sony to agree to let people still print PlayStation One games. I don't know if you still can, but I remember a few years ago. Uh, you could get some new sealed inbox copies of PlayStation 1 and 2 games from uh, Square Enix's website. Only select titles, not like everything, but still. I picked up a, uh, a couple Final Fantasy games. Still sealed in box. For like, I don't remember, it was like 15, 20 bucks a piece or something like that. It wasn't bad at all. Pick PRS for Clinical One. You better hope you can read fast. <laughs> Is the tech speed like super high on it or something? I 
I don't remember exactly where we're trying to go here. Okay, not here. This is the entrance to the world, so it's not this one. I remember what the place looks like that we're trying to get to. I just can't remember exactly how to get there. There's a gate around here somewhere that'll take us, though. It's not that one. We just came out of it. This shouldn't be anything, yeah. Here we go. This is it. Yeah, I always thought people were exaggerating whenever they complained about the camera on, on original Kingdom Hearts 1. And while I don't think it's a huge deal like some people do, I can totally understand their frustration. <laughs> oh, they have auto advance text only. That's a weird thing to not have an option for. Can you at least change the text speed or no? Let's check this place too. Once the Heartless here are out of our way. Thought there was going to be more text than that, but nope. No, they don't. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> That's got to suck if you're like a little kid or something playing the game, right? For a native English speaking adult, I don't think it will be too bad. I don't think. Coming from someone that's never played the game. Um, but, like, if you're, I don't know, say, eight years old or something, and you saw PRS at the store, and you're like, oh, this looks really cool. I want to get this. And mom or dad buys it for you. You pop it in. Now you just have no idea what the hell's going on because the text is just appearing and disappearing too quickly. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's be super annoying, man. Zero. Have you seen Sally anywhere? Huh? Is something wrong, Jack? No, everything's going great. We're going to have the best Halloween ever. All we need now is your memory. Memory? You mean this? Came the forgive me Jack, not. I have a bad feeling about this. Why don't you try something else? There's still time. Nothing could beat what I've got planned. Once we give the Heartless a heart, they'll dance just as I envision it. Trust me, you're going to love it. We Make is the only game in the franchise that offers voice acting in an actual spoken language. It was intended to be played in your native audio language. That's weird. <laughs> I mean, I guess maybe because they cut all of that dialogue from the main character. But you would think that'd be one of the things they would uh, bring over to the PRS version, too. Unless they just had to, like, save on space or something for the cartridge. I have a bad feeling about this. If only Jack would reconsider. I'm happy if he's happy, happy but I'm just so worried about him. I'm worried about him because I, well, I just am. And PRS didn't even change that part of the engine. Honestly, now I just want to play both of them so I can see how bad it is. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm more curious about how did they screw this up than anything at this point. Sure did. A heart. What should we do? Gosh, you really are stupid. Isn't it obvious? Tell Oogie Boogie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember which one it is, but the 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 girl. Is that the same voice actor from one of the Rugrats? <laughs> she sounds like uh, Lil and Phil from the Rugrats, man. Uh, not here. I'm not positive, but I think that might be the same voice actress. Ooh, breathing the dragon. What do we get? That could be a cute combo. Hey, there we go. Finally, a normal looking dragon again. <laughs> yes, this is it. Now just one more ingredient. We need surprise to complete the heart. The mayor should know where it is. <laughs> that bonehead 
Jack is really making a hard. <laughs> I'll be jiggered. That works for me. Ooh, and I get my hands on that. Well, I've got no hands, but I'm still gonna nab that heart and control the heartless. <laughs> PS1 version and PRS offer more text in general, so PRS is just harder to follow without voice acting that you can listen to. Makes sense. Uh, Mayor, you said. Especially once you uh, then add in the fact that the text appears and <laughs> disappears so quickly. Can't imagine that making things any easier. That was Phil and Lil? I thought so. so. It sounded a lot like that voice actress, but it, I couldn't be completely positive. Did she also do the, the movies? Or movie, rather? Oh, okay, okay, I got you. God, dude, <laughs> stop running away. I just want to murder you. Thank you. Where's this damn mayor hiding at? And the, the settings for the different characters, I wish you could set specific... like abilities to be used more or less often instead of just generalized like attack special defense abilities because i mean arrow is helpful in some circumstances don't get me wrong but most of the time i'd rather just tank the extra damage and heal because arrow takes some not i'm pretty sure it takes two mp compared to healings only taking one so it just feels like a, a bit of a waste unless you're up against, like, a boss or somebody that puts out a, a crap ton of damage. Phantom Million is not a spoken language as, large, as far as you're... As far as you know. I don't know, man. It could be, like, Simlish from The Sims. There could be someone out there that knows how to speak it. <laughs> I don't know, in my head, I imagine it being like... Oh, it actually reminds you of it, really? See, in my head, I was thinking more like uh, the quote-unquote speech of something like Banjo. The Banjo games. Not something that actually sounded like a language. Oh my god, you bastard. <laughs> there we go. Where's the mayor hiding at? The mayor's house isn't like somewhere we can go to, is it? Is, or is this the mayor's house? We just need to ring his doorbell? <laughs> I don't think this is actually the right place to go, but... Excuse me, guys. I can't pull the string if you're out here fighting someone. Dude, with more HP, man. I feel like that's half his level ups are just him gaining HP. We good now? Yeah, no. Uh, okay. I mean, there's only so many places to go. This door's not, like, suddenly accessible, is it? No. Excuse me, sir.
It was expanded greatly in Quinoa 2 even. Bro, now I want to know if there's somebody out there that spent the time to, to learn the language. Like, <laughs> is fluent in, what do you call it? Fanta, Fantamillion? is not too bad. Mylian? Okay, is that everyone? Examine. There he is. Hello, sir. Ghosts rise from those tombstones. Check the tombstones in the order the ghosts appear. If you get it wrong, you're in for a surprise. Isn't that what we want? Was it just this one three times in a row? Splendid. Now go look at the pumpkin. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's always that easy. <laughs> I think we got pretty lucky there with that one. Got a jack in the box. Which reminds me, we need to go back to... Traverse Town at one of these. At some point. We got a uh, another little stone to turn into the fairy godmother, and another torn page for the hundred acre wood. While playing, you do start to make out certain words. That's awesome, dude. Someday it'll be like a Klingon or something. Like <laughs> mega fans will just be running around conventions. Speaking Phantom Alien to, to each other. One of my favorite things from the Sim series is still the video where they brought in Katy Perry to sing some of her songs, but in Simlish. It's just so bizarre seeing, you know, a a fairly popular pop star singing in some weird fantasy language. Both games are essentially action puzzle platformers with a big focus on story. I think it was uh, Kid Icarus maybe that I watched on, on YouTube talk about the game a little bit. And ever since I saw that video, so I had been super interested in them. Just never picked up a copy of it to actually give it a try. Oh, he had two vids on it. Very cool. I may have seen both. I've watched most of his catalog, but my memory is so poor, man. There's a, <laughs> There's a good chance that I've just forgotten one of them. Uh, I think it's this one, right? There was a shortcut, too, that we could have taken to get back here. But oh well. People have been struck deeply since childhood with that game. Hopefully, the uh, even though it wasn't the best remake from the sounds of it, or, or remaster, or whatever you want to call it, hopefully it did well enough that the willing to make some more games in the series, right? Since it does sound like it was such a beloved franchise once upon a time. It'd be cool to see them continue on with it. I'm hoping they do the same thing for, for Spyro. Since, as far as I'm aware, the Reignited trilogy did fairly well. It'd be cool if a, a proper Spyro 4 came out. 
that was their plan? Is it not their plan now? Did it not do well enough? Or did they just... We just don't know yet. Of course, with how they handled the remasters, I would be a little bit worried about what a Klonoa 3 might look like. If they do get around to making one, hopefully they'll see all of the, uh, the problems that fans had with the remasters and, and take it to heart. Correcting some of their mistakes. It crashed Steam the hour it released. No way. That's awesome, man. I'd say it's uh, <laughs> fairly safe to say that it did well in that case. <laughs> That's really cool. I'm surprised I hadn't heard of it earlier. The the PRS one, I mean. Yes, yeah, so this is it. Bingo. This time it's sure to work. Oh, I believe you 100%. I'm just surprised I didn't hear about it. Being mainly a PC gamer, you know? Steam's my platform of choice, so... <laughs> Not hearing about, you know, new Steam game crashes uh, Steam for an hour or whatever. The nerve of those little hooligans stealing my work. And back we go. All right, before we chase him down, I think this is a pretty decent time to take a break. I need to stretch my legs a little bit, fill up my uh, my drink here. So we're going to take a, a break for just a couple minutes while I run downstairs and do that. And then we're going to continue with a little bit more Kingdom Hearts 2, dude. I'm hoping to get through at least this world. I would love to get through this one and Neverland, but I don't know if we're going to have quite that much time. I guess only time will tell. You're going to come see me? I guess I can say hello while I'm down there, Noodle. <laughs> Remember the Discord being in chaos because people couldn't get it immediately? It was so funny. <laughs> Picked up your physical copy the day later. That's awesome, dude. That's hilarious. But all right, guys. Like I said, BRB. That's smoke grenade. Good, good. Just threw that up myself. Can we not reload? Maybe we just can't reload this weapon. Oh, good. There's... Hi. Uh, would you like a grenade? Oh, good. You you gave me one back in return. Appreciate that. <laughs> Just playing hot potato over here. Is that what we're doing now? And down. Ow. Ow. Appreciate it if you didn't shoot me, my guy. Are you, are you friendly? No. Uh, shit. <laughs> Look. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I couldn't get through the damn door. Okay, we're fine. Everything, everything's fine. Everything's grand. Keep on moving up, dude. Cutscene time? Let's go. What kind of riveting story do you have for me now, game? Check your ammo levels. Oh. That was kind of neat. It was fading out like end of level style thing, you know? And then all of a sudden, bang. That was neat. That I'll give the game props, dude. Do we have any, like, uh, explosives of any kind? Some way to deal with the, the tank? Because as far as I know, no. <laughs> we do not. Do I just throw a grenade at him? I don't... <laughs> How do we take care of the tank, dude? Ow. We throw some smoke of our own, maybe? 
Now yeah, we're probably just got to fight off the, the enemy soldiers in the meantime. I'm assuming we're just holding position and then like an airstrike or another tank or something will come down and deal with the tank for us. Uh, oh god. What are you guys? Oh shit, they're coming up the stairs now? What is this? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. This is my stairwell? Thank you kindly. Oh god, oh god, there's people on the stairs again. Oh god, there's more. Oh god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Okay, yep. This is not going well for me. <laughs> we see... No, okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. Objective updated. Good. Hopefully that means... Checkpoint. Hey, look at that. A tank came and saved our ass. Where do we go? We just waiting? Guess we're just waiting. Maybe I need to go back upstairs. Can I? Yeah, okay. Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate that. That's it! Yeah, boy! Those cherry cowards are bugging out. Guzo, radio division. We've taken San Lo. There we go. There's the fade out for the end of the level. <laughs> I knew it had to be coming sooner or later, man. That's how these games work. Which is why it made it so effective when they used it the way they did. To, to kind of trick you into the sense of security and a level sort of thing. And then boom. That was neat. That was a good moment. Good way to pull you into the game. Title card. We did it guys. That was the end of the game. We won. <laughs> Whole war's over. Opens up the road to Paris. The American army pushes through to the southwest. While the British, Canadian and Polish advance from the northeast. The German-controlled territory in the middle comes to be known as the Falaise Gap. The Gap sees some of the most ferocious fighting of the last great war. Guy sticks a gun in my face. You don't think that's... All right, there we go, dude. Got a drink. Stretch my legs a little bit. I like it. The M1 not being able to reload in any World War II game is a pain in the ass. As a sniper, I still love that weapon. <laughs> oh, man. It is a pain in the ass. I mean, I get it, but yeah. Totally. Try out Medal of Honor Vanguard, your favorite World War II game on the PS2. Did we play that one? Or is that one still sitting in my collection waiting to be played? I'm pretty sure I have that one at least. Can't remember if I've played it yet or not, though. Pull up the list real quick. Zero. After them, quick. Yeah, we did play that one. I don't remember. Oh shit, we're getting attacked. I don't. <laughs> I don't remember if that's the one that we just played. I know the one that I just played not too long ago was a ton of fun. Um, and I'm pretty sure it was a Medal of Honor game, but I can't remember if it was Vanguard, Frontline Assault, or, uh, what's the other one? European Assault. Maybe it's just Frontline? I don't know, I already closed my list, so <laughs> I can't even look to see, like, kind of easy since you have a damage cooldown. In that one, do you have, like troops that you you command like you have a couple people in your squad that you can tell to go to a point and hold that point or, or follow you around or whatever no okay so it must have been a different one um regardless though whichever one that was ton of fun man really enjoyed it rising sun no, I'm, I'm fairly certain it was... Let me pull the list back up here. I'm fairly certain it was a Medal of Honor game. Let me... I have another list here of things that, like, I need to do. It's my, my note-taking app. 
is it gonna load? There it goes. Just being slow. Uh, okay, scroll down, because it wasn't too long ago. Xenarnia, Kingdom Hearts, Crisis Core, Tetris, Bionicle Heroes, Atari, European Assault. It was the uh, Medal of Honor European Assault. It was that one. I don't remember Vanguard specifically, but uh, but it was still a ton of fun. Rising Sun is a PS2 game. Ah, I have that one. I haven't played it yet. Looks like that's the last of the Medal of Honor games that I still need, I think. Medal of Honor. Yeah, because I've played European Assault, Frontline, and Vanguard. Haven't finished them, but I have played all three of those. Um, and then I own a Medal of Honor Rising Sun. Just haven't played that one yet. Vanguard was the last one on the PS2. Yeah, I didn't play them in any like specific order. It was just whenever they were randomly chosen. Because for games that I'm not completing but just trying out, it's just uh, it's mostly randomized, but with with some weights to to help pick things out based on what people vote for. I wouldn't mind completing some of those, though. Like I said, I don't remember Vanguard specifically, but I know European Assault was a ton of fun. So I wouldn't mind finishing that one. And from what I remember of the other Medal of Honor games, I liked all of them. It's a big freaking moon. Yeah, it is. It's just really low in the sky, that's all. The lower the moon is in the sky, the larger it looks. Sun's the same way. It's not actually that low. It's an artistic choice, obviously, but, you know. <laughs> Anyways, I've just recently played a little bit of uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, the new one. Um, single player. I don't really play multiplayer Call of Duty anymore. But I was fixing a, a buddy's Xbox, just cleaning it out, really, because um, it was overheating and shutting down on him. And I needed to, to test it to make sure that it was running well. And... Uh, I only have a couple of Xbox games, and they're all Xbox One, not Xbox Series. So after I tried out Project Cars 2, I think it was 2, um, after I tried that out just to make sure the console was working, I was like, well, I should probably try a Series game to make sure it's not going to overheat. So I just signed into my profile on his Xbox. He had um, Modern Warfare 2 already installed. So I booted that up. The single player, uh, surprisingly fun, man. It's been a long time since I've played a Call of Duty single player campaign. Since, uh, I guess about Black Ops 2, I think was the last one that I played. Um, but yeah, after that, I wouldn't mind going back and, and revisiting some of them, giving them another, another try. Again, don't see myself doing the, the multiplayer anytime soon. I kind of got out of that whole thing a, a while back. I hate the black fungus so much, dude. <laughs> They're so annoying. <laughs> With their stupid poison sprays and their invincibility. This camera is not making things any easier either. You laugh, you knew how I came to know Napple Tail. How did you come to know it? Now I'm just curious. They offer good experience, at least, the Black Fungus. I'll give them that much. Uh, fire. There we go. That's the shortcut. Okay, that takes us back. Is there anything else we're missing here? Any chests or anything? Doesn't look like it. Wait, isn't this thing supposed to, like, unroll or something? Am I missing something? Examine. Ah, there we go. <laughs> it's kind of a rabbit hole, so it might sound convoluted. That's fine. We got nothing but time to unravel this rabbit hole. <laughs> it 
<laughs> Bear with you, it'll make sense eventually. The forbidden ice cream? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Which part's the forbidden ice cream? The 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 thing we just walked on? <laughs> Is that your forbidden ice cream? I mean, I don't know, man. It looks pretty edible. I, I say we give it a lick. Can't be that bad, right? Oh my god. Freaking shadows. Sinking into the ground. Uh, can I get out of here? Yes, I can. Okay. Even though I'm not a huge fan of Nightmare Before Christmas, like the movie, I think it's okay. Don't get me wrong. But it's never been one of my favorites. I really love this world. I actually think it's one of the better designed worlds. It also helps that the Heartless aren't super annoying, like in some of the other ones. Sure, the shadows sink down into the ground, but they're relatively quick to kill. There are a couple flying enemies, but I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm generally a higher level by the time I get here. But they're not that bad. And the lanterns aren't constantly disappearing on me. And of course, the biggest one, there's none of the fat bodies, man. Because I freaking hate fat bodies. <laughs> He'll always remind you of soft serve. I can get why. The way it's like uh, slinked over and whatnot. It is kind of soft serve-esque. Nightmare Before Christmas less than James and the Giant Peach. Oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> James and the Giant Peach has just always been unsettling to me for some reason. I, I don't know if it was, like, the art style and watching it when I was a kid, if it was the premise of it. Like, I don't really know what it is. But James and the Giant Peach has always been unsettling to me. Therefore, I, I don't really watch it. <laughs> where Where is this dude? Here we go. <laughs> Cloud Rhino scared the shit out of you as a kid. What was the... Uh, did you guys have comfort movies or comfort shows growing up? I know for, like, me when I was a kid, it was Land Before Time, man. Anytime, like, I was having a shit day or needed or needed something to watch something to, like, calm down before bed or something like that, like, 100%, dude. I was throwing me on some uh, Land Before Time and just zonking the hell out. Fox and the Hound, good choice, good choice. Even though the, the ending isn't, uh, or not the ending, but yeah. There's some unsettling points in that, but at the same time, I guess, you know, like in Land Before Time, his parents literally die. So, <laughs> so there's unsettling, unsettling bits in both movies, I guess, but I don't know. I love that stupid series. You didn't really like Land Before Time, you have to admit. Hey, that's fine, man. Not everything has to be for everybody. I get that. But I love that series as a kid. I'm pretty sure I haven't gotten it on my media server yet. And if it's not on my media server, I can't remember for sure whether I own things or not. But I think, I think I have uh, the Land Before Time complete collection on DVD sitting over here. Oh God, come on! No, you bastard! Oh, Goofy, get out of the way! Goofy, please stop jumping up here. Nope. Ah, oh, dude, we had that. Can we, like... What were we standing on before? <laughs> there we go. Jump, Sora, you bastard! No, jump, Sora! Jump! <laughs> God damn it. I don't think we're meant to get this until we get the glide ability, but... It's here, and I know I can get it, so now I want to. 
that and we're back. I don't think I've ever heard of we're back. Rugrats, Tom and Jerry. Yeah, dude. I watched a lot of Tom and Jerry growing up, too. Usually I would watch that with my grandfather, though. Big Tom and Jerry fans. Rugrats was always good, too, but I don't know if I'd call that a, uh, a comfort thing for me. It was just something that I did enjoy watching. Damn it. Okay, we're just going to try like one or two more times. Then we're going to give up on it. It's probably something stupid anyways that... There we go. Oh, a defense up. Never mind. That's not entirely stupid. I will gladly uh, take Jack's stuff. And then apply a defense up to myself. Screw the other two. They don't need them. Okay, was that everything in here? I believe so. We're back. I don't even remember what we're back is. We're back. We're back a dinosaur story? Oh, okay. I've seen the cover for it before. I don't think I've ever watched it. If I have, I've, I've completely forgotten it at this point. I've had multiple animals named after the show. I mean, this is true. She, she has had multiple animals <laughs> named after the show. She currently has an animal named after the show. A character that most people probably don't even know the name of. <laughs> oh, and down we go. <laughs> Well, <laughs> tis fine, I guess. <laughs> Had to come down here sooner or later. Why not now? She's a working mother. She's busy. <laughs> Still doesn't explain why most people, like, I don't think would know her name. I just think they don't really, like, use her name much in the show, do they? Angelica's mom. Can we do anything with these pumpkins? Uh, hold on. That's going to blow up. <laughs> Drew uses her name a few times at least. Where does this go? I don't remember. So let's go back to where we just came from. But it looks like there's an exit on both sides. And before one of these takes us like all the way back to Halloween Town proper. Okay, to the bridge. What about the other side? I can't remember if any of the other parents use her name. I mean, she's not in the show a ton to start with, but then, yeah, I don't... I mean, I'm sure you're right. You've watched the show way more than I have, but I don't remember anybody actually saying her name. Okay, this one doesn't go anywhere. It looks like an exit. It's not. Hey, Mr. Tub. Take me up, my guy. Might when they all go to the cabin. I love how you say that, like, just expecting us to remember the episode where they all go to the cabin. Because I can assure you, I don't remember that episode, at least. <laughs> like, I've probably seen it at some point, but I ain't going to remember it. Rugrats. Uh, 
Um. Sure, there's some chests hidden around here. I'm trying to find them, but I do not know where they're at. You don't remember much of it? We haven't watched it yet together? No, we haven't. We need to get back on watching them. We haven't watched any episodes of the Rugrats in a while. It's a nice quick show we can watch too whenever... Like I have to get ready to stream or something like that. No knob, no keyhole. There must be a device somewhere. Oh, that's just gonna like suck us into it? Okay. <laughs> just threw us out back here. I don't remember, what does the door do? Oh, okay, let's just go in. Chesty, thank you. I'm watching South Park. Hey, you've been laughing at South Park every now and then. <laughs> sure, the show, show's a little bit stupid, but uh, <laughs> it's a fun time. Are you ready? It all started with Cats on Mars, a song that is used a lot in memes these days. You might know it. There's an easy way to find out. Cats on Mars. Play. I don't care about this ad. Okay, yeah. I've heard at least clips of it before, yes. Still need to finish 70 show too, which reminds me, are you going to watch 90 show with me on the 19th? Is that when it's coming out, the 19th? I'll probably watch it. On Netflix? Yeah, I remember that part that is coming out on Netflix. Piece of crap. Oh god. <laughs> I thought for sure we were dead there for a moment. We can't go in that one, can we? I don't think so. After hearing it for like the 200th time, some random YouTube short, wanted to know what it was called. And upon finding out the title, and that was part of the Cowboy Bebop soundtrack, your jaw dropped naturally. Yeah, I saw that whenever I just looked it up on YouTube myself, I saw that it was part of Cowboy Bebop. Which uh, I also found surprising. I need to rewatch Cowboy Bebop, man. It's been a long time. Anyways. Okay, there's a device somewhere that we should be looking for. Can we go in here? No. Thunder. Thunder. Here. And you're dead. And you're dead. I'm not risking falling off this platform to fight you guys. There's a chest over there. I do not believe we can get to it right now, though. Maybe once we're higher up, it'll be possible. Come down here, please. I've, I've ran out of magic, my guy. And I don't want to fall down to the bottom. Thank you kindly. Someone that collects original soundtracks and is very knowledgeable when it comes to composers from Japan. Okay. So far, I'm following. My guess is... That maybe this composer worked on the game that you were uh, talking about. The... Oh, God. Oh, no. That was almost really bad. Uh, the, the Napple Tales? Oh, no. Don't fall. Okay, well, we're screwed. Yep, yep. <laughs> GG us. <laughs> All the way back to the bottom. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, 
Another thing about Rugrats, Cash, we've been taking home, said one of the things she remembers most about hanging out with me when we were younger was you enjoying Rugrats and having the dolls. I didn't realize you guys, like, hung out when you were younger. I knew that you had known her from outside of work, but I didn't realize you guys knew each other that well. Looked up who made the original soundtrack. Her name is Yoko. A composer that I had heard a lot of times before but never really checked her works out. You wanted to change that, so you looked up what anime she composed for. But so far, I think I'm following. Wait a second. When we took that elevator there, did it actually take us lower, not higher? Really? You didn't stay lit? What a dick. She was your neighbor for years? I mean, that makes sense now. Can unlock Sora. Uh, camera turn, please. Remember what I said about liking this uh, this world? I take it back. <laughs> Just because of this stupid tree we gotta climb here, castle or whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> Yoko was your neighbor, Noodle? That's pretty cool, man. <laughs> oh no, no! Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Bastard, uh, excuse me, die. It's all for stuff that you don't usually watch, including Cowboy Bebop. Sorry, hey, again, no, no problem, man. He looked up games, and there it was Napple Tail, a Japanese exclusive Dreamcast game that was beloved by a small niche. That's really cool, dude. Isn't it weird sometimes how you can find neat things like that? I hope you end up liking the game. Like, <laughs> That'd be a cool way to find a, a neat game, you know? Like, random meme song that you heard too many times sends you down this rabbit hole. Eventually leads to you finding a really cool game that you enjoy. Uh, heal. Can we, can we maybe hit him, please? You absolutely love niche stuff in Japan? Bonus if it's exclusive. Oh my god, dude. Okay, do not attack this little kid when he's scurrying around like that. That did not go well for us. Oh my god, stop jumping. Check out a long play on YouTube. Took you five minutes to be memorized by its aesthetics and soundtrack. You had to play it. So you have played it at this point, just haven't gotten the English patch to, to work yet? We were just following orders. Oogie Boogie told us to steal the heart. It's all Beryl's fault. It was his idea to tell Oogie Boogie about the heart. Oh no, you haven't played it yet. Okay, okay, okay. Well, once you actually play it, then I hope you, en you enjoy it, man. Yeah, that's right. But, but you guys said... <laughs> You should be ashamed, Barrel. <laughs> what dicks, dude. Uh, let's save before we do anything. Please and thank you. Okay. Uh, hit it. Hit, hit it. There we go. Okay, maybe that opened the door? Stay away from Oogie Boogie if I were you. Nah, it'll be fine. You'll never find the green door. I've already found it, actually. Oogie Boogie made us do it. We had no choice. Mm, I don't think I believe any of you kids, to be honest with you. <laughs> Pretty sure you're all full of shit. Possibly literally.
By the way, your love for Japanese niche games came from Japan, come from your love of the Klonoa franchise, you assume. I don't think I've really messed around with, like, Japanese niche things all that much. I play a lot of, of games made in Japan, obviously. That just comes from the fact that I, I love RPGs. But I wouldn't say I've played much niche stuff. So many hidden gems, gems? I know, man. That's the, the, the only reason, really, why I want to learn Japanese. At least, like, a basic understanding of it, right? Like, I, I don't expect that I'll ever be completely fluent. But it would be nice to at least understand enough to be able to, like, play a game or something and have, have a good idea of what's going on. I was working toward it once upon a time, but never got around, uh... <laughs> Never gone around getting proficient in any way. My lack of memory and trying to to learn vocabulary is what really got in my way. <laughs> like learning katakana and hiragana wasn't too bad, um, but then as soon as I started trying to to memorize lists of words, it was just all downhill from there. <laughs> like, oh boy. I want to go back and try again at some point, though. I haven't completely given up yet. Though I do need to restudy Hiragana and Katakana. Because it's been, uh, it's been a couple years since I've done any real looking at it. Oogie Boogie, give me back the heart. You want it? Well, then come on over and get it! <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Let's see if I can get their attention. Oh, hello! This is it? Nobody disrespects me! What a guy. Here, Gana. Katakana are relatively easy. It takes two weeks consistent reading. You have to keep it up, though, for some time longer to make it worthwhile. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, learning those wasn't too bad. But then, like I said, the vocabulary is what ended up being a massive pain in the ass. Like, I, I did keep it up for a little while, and, and I had some words memorized. Um, I still remember a couple, but only a couple. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was a mixture of... of time and and poor memory that just that just screwed it for me in terms of trying to actually learn the language I'm sure maybe using something better because like I, I tried Duolingo and while it did well for the Hiragana Katakana part of it I, I quickly learned that it wasn't the best in my opinion app for learning um, vocabulary. So I tried like a couple other website based things and, and picked up a, a textbook. And honestly, I think the textbook was the best of the options that I tried. Although recently I've had it recommended that I try out, uh, uh memorize, which, oh, son of a bitch, which I, I, have heard of before and honestly sounds like a pretty good option. I just need to, to find the time now to, to actually get into it and try to, to learn it again. And then I don't even want to talk about kanji though. Like, <laughs> like memorizing the, the roughly 2000 commonly used kanji. That just sounds like a terrible time, dude. <laughs> like... Let's go, dick. I'm 
introduction of the language and learn the basic grammar and some kanji is pretty good with Duolingo, but after that, better get an actual... Exactly, yeah. That's exactly how I thought about it, too. And I know, like, at least when I was looking at it, I know their, uh, their Japanese course was still really new. So it, there's, it's fully possible it's gotten better since then, but, but I don't know, man. To me, Duolingo feels like a tool that's that's suited to learning a language that's already similar to to your language, right? Like, if you speak English, using it to learn, you know, German or Spanish or something, seems like a pretty good idea. But when you're a native English speaker, using it to learn any kind of Asian language just sounds like it's probably going to be, be a bad time. It was expanded and has gotten better. I mean, maybe I'll take another look at it one of these days, but I don't know. Oh, God. Or for you being German and learning English. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, th those sort of situations, I think, is what an app like Duolingo excels with. Got him. Ooh, more max accessories. I like that. And Goofy with the AP up, also very good. Gross. So that heart was a failure after all. Obtain the Holy Circlet and Anselm's report number seven. Let's go. What? <laughs> oh shit, we have to do this part right now? <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't think we had to do stage 2 of the fight right now. I thought this came later. Whoa, how did he get so big? That's what she said. <laughs> Look, it's brimming with the power of darkness. Oogie Boogie is drawing power from those dark globs. So we just have to destroy those things, right? Use it when you were like 13 or 14 to better your English skills. Combined with English class in school to a point where you could rely on learning through immersion, which adding YouTube videos and more. Yeah, immersion learning is like my goal, right? I, I had bought a couple of books in Japanese. Japanese video games are easy to come by. Um, and I already really enjoy watching Japanese, not just anime, but also like dramas and stuff like that. Um, Nate, what's up, my guy? Um, so, like, that was my goal was to, was to do that sort of thing. Um, slowly but surely. And I did take the time to read a, a couple relatively simple manga in Japanese. Um, back when I was, you know, like I said, actually trying to learn, but it just became too much of a time sink for something that's not actually that useful in my day-to-day -day life. Because I... I'm not even positive I've ever met a Japanese person in real life, you know? <laughs> like, where where I live, there's not really a large Japanese population. There is a relatively... like, a decently sized Asian population. But uh, as far as I'm aware, most of those people speak uh, Mandarin or... Or whatever, like, so yeah. For for something that's that's not actually useful in my day to day life, it just became a little bit too much of a time sink for me to keep up with it. I still want to specifically, so I can better enjoy Japanese video games, um, dramas, and as well as anime, obviously. How you doing today, though, Nate? Haven't seen you in a while, bud. Wasn't sure you were gonna make it, to be honest with you. Oh, 
guys don't like spawn infinitely, do they? They might. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember. I know our goal um, is to destroy all the dark globs. But since these guys were here, I was like, ah, why not destroy them, right? You were good at a birthday. Oh. Sounds fun, man. Me? Oh, I'm doing well. A little bit tired today, but other than that, to be fair, when am I not a little bit tired? Like, <laughs> if we're just being honest with each other here for a minute. Oh, God damn it. Come on. Um, can we get in here? We can. And then, hey, let's go, dude. Where's the next dark glob at? There's one. There we go, dude. Oh, don't fall. Uh, fire. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> I don't want to risk hitting him because I don't want to risk falling off the damn platform. Ow. No, you bastard. All right, back up we go. I really don't care about you guys. Uh, where are we going from here? Wait a second, can we jump under this? Ooh, there we go. Yeah, I don't think this is the one we were attacking before, though. So we still got to go back and find that one again. Regardless, though, it's another one down. Ooh, hello there. Okay. Was that the one we were attacking before? This one right uh, here? Yes. I think that's the last it is. Goofy got another treasure magnet. Very cool, dude. It's going to be able to pull stuff in from, like, I don't know, a whole three feet away. My legs are tense today, dude. Are you done being a dick now, Oogie? I'll kick your ass again if that's what it takes, man. Obtain the power of stars. Gravity has been upgraded to Gravira. Gravira? Gravira? Better gravity. <laughs> Sally, why didn't I listen to you? Don't feel bad, Jack. We'll come up with another plan for Halloween. Next time, we'll do it together. I guess we have no choice. We'll have to cancel the Heartless Halloween Festival for now. Here, I want you to have this. The pumpkin head. I think the pumpkin head's one of the one of my favorites until we get to like the end of the game. Next year's Halloween will be the scariest ever. Emotion, memory, we put in all the necessary ingredients. What else do you need to make a heart? What is a heart anyway? I can't figure it out. Nice. Equipment and pumpkin head. 
Look at the reach on that bad boy. It has a long reach and the ability to deal a string of critical blows. It's a good keyblade. And then, what do we want to equip? What's the, the holy circlet do? Reduces fire, ice, and lightning damage by 20%. Also raises max AP. Ray of Light slightly raises max HP and MP. Uh, max HP and defense. Strength. Strength's not bad. Uh, max AP and defense. Defense by one. Honestly, Holy Circlet, C Circlet doesn't sound bad. Name your fave Kion Kioni show? Kioni. Uh, Kiohani. Kyoto Animation Company. What shows do they make? <laughs> Hold on. Have I seen any of them? That's the real question. Okay, I've seen a little bit of Violet Evergarden. Um... Wow. <laughs> uh, that one was pretty good. Do I recognize any of these other ones? Sorry, I asked. <laughs> I don't have much time to watch anime these days, to be honest with you. Um, the only ones I've really kept up with are some pretty mainstream ones, like Attack on Titan... Uh, Dr. Stone, I've more or less kept up with, although I haven't seen the, the movie or special, whatever it was. Um, have I kept up with anything else? I mean, I recently watched uh, Neon Genesis, Evangelion, but uh, that one's kind of old at this point. <laughs> <laughs> haven't seen Full Metal Panic, I know of it, but I haven't seen it. Yeah, man, I don't know if I've seen any of these other than Violet Evergarden. And I haven't finished it. I've only seen a little bit. <laughs> oh, you and Chocobo are so disappointed. <laughs> I don't have time to watch TV. Dude, like, normally I watch uh, YouTube as kind of like my replacement for, for TV, right? But even with YouTube, man, I'm so far behind on on videos my my normal list of shows to watch or like things to watch on youtube is like 200 videos long at the moment and i don't even want to talk about the i'll watch this eventually list and the these are just very long series of videos like critical role episodes uh long plays of like bethesda games and stuff like that that i enjoy and i'll watch whenever i i don't know go into bed or something like that i don't even want to talk about those nope Dragon Maid sounds kind of familiar, but I don't think I've ever seen it. I've probably just, like, as I was browsing through Crunchyroll one day or something, it probably popped up, like... <laughs> yup. Nope. Kind of. <laughs> uh, my bad. <laughs> said your boy has very little time to do stuff dude between working full time and uh doing this five days a week and then D, D two days a week and cooking and stuff around the house yeah no i don't i don't really have free time <laughs> Better keep an eye on those three rascals. They may pull a prank the second you look away. Halloween Town's quiet without with Oogie Boogie gone, so we're gonna shake it up. Quiet is boring. Not doing anything bad, not now anyway. I'm keeping an eye on Lock and Barrel. Actually, I don't like pulling pranks, but I don't want to be left out either. <laughs> Poor Barrel. I'm not dissing them, not even a little bit. Uh, I'm sure they make some amazing stuff. I just haven't seen their stuff. So I don't have an opinion one way or the other. <laughs> I would argue whether they actually are the best animation studio in Japan, though. Because, like, Studio Ghibli exists, man. <laughs> and while they haven't done uh, much recently, like, I'm a little iffy about... I forget the name of their newest movie. Um, 
but that one looks a little a little weird to me. I haven't seen it. I'm holding my my judgment until I watch it. But visually speaking, uh, I don't know if it quite holds up to to older Studio Ghibli films. I've been making Mr. Noodle watch through all of these Studio Ghibli catalogs slowly over the past couple of years, where we still have a fair bit more to go. Do you remember, Noodle, if you're still listening, do you remember the next one that we have to watch? We just watched Palm Poco. Um, sadly, we watched it with the English voice cast, and I they turned the whole thing into a freaking documentary, and it's just, it's just weird, man. It's off. Have you seen A Silent Voice? I don't think I've seen seen a silent voice yet but do i have that one i might own that one because i i work at a store if y'all didn't know um like a, a major retailer so like sometimes i'll see some neat movies for relatively cheap or whatever and pick them up but again i don't have much time so i have a big stack of movies that i want to watch and uh I know I've seen a silent voice there, but I don't know if I've ever decided to pick it up. Castle in the Sky is excellent. Uh, one of the th my favorite things about Castle yeah. in the Sky, or well, one of my favorite things about uh, Your Lie in April, yeah. rather, is whenever, I forget characters' names again, memory's terrible, but whenever the, the main dude meets the, the, the main girl and uh, for the first time and she hops on top of the, the thing at the playground and starts playing the song from Castle in the Sky, uh, really good. You think I have the manga, not the movie? Maybe. Maybe. I don't remember, but I know I know, I know of A Silent Voice, at least. Silent Voice, that's not the one with the deaf, deaf girl, is it? Actually, Silent Voice... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I've seen A Silent Voice. I watched it on Netflix or something like that at one point. That's why I wanted to get the manga of it. But what's my favorite one? Ooh. <laughs> Growing up, it was... Oh, boy. That's a hard question. <laughs> There's a lot of really good Ghibli movies. Growing up, it was probably... Um, Ponyo or Spirited Away. Nowadays, though, probably Kiki's Delivery Service, Castle in the Sky. There's a lot of really good ones. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's hard to say. I I like a lot of them. Um. Oh boy. If I, if I really hate myself and I just want to feel super depressed for the next month, then uh, there's always Grave of the Fireflies. That's a fun one to watch with the family. <laughs> uh, from what you've seen so far, it's Totoro. Totoro is really good, too. Like I said, pretty much any of them made by Miyazaki is uh, A+. Plus. Very, very good, man. All right, do you have any new equipment for us yet, my guy? Uh, no, no new equipment. That's fine. We still have the Torn Page in the Summon, though, so we'll go turn that stuff in. Oh, also, let's talk to you. I would like to, uh, sell... So there's a couple things that I apparently have too many of. Oh. Well. Oh, no, that's price, not quantity. Okay, I was like, uh, hold on. I know I tried to open a chest and it said that I couldn't have that because I have too many of them. None of these are maxed out, though. <laughs> never, Never mind, then. Sure is Grave of the Fireflies the happiest anime I've seen since Clannad. I don't know what Clannad is. I'm sorry. <laughs> Grave of the Fireflies is... I... I'm worried about Clannad now, though. <laughs> like... <laughs> 
How? Why? What? Is it because I haven't seen it, or am I just, is it Clan Nad? <laughs> hey, it's Sora. Well, hello, Sora. How did you get here? The flower we saw that day? The flower we saw that day. Looks cool. Haven't seen it. <laughs> a man named Leon helped us even got us this house to live in. I don't know how I'll ever repay his kindness. Oh, you guys are comparing the saddest animes? I don't know, man. I can't. Grave of the Fireflies? Like, spoiler alert. But watching them literally slowly die and starve to death while Japan is being bombed? <laughs> like... Bruh, <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever emotionally recover from Grave of the Fireflies. Oh my god, and whenever all the fireflies that they capture die, and then she like buries them, it's just the cutest fucking thing. And the moment whenever he discovers that she's been eating rocks, the fake candy, um, to, to like the little marbles to try to fill herself up, because they used to enjoy the candy together, it's just, bruh, like, <laughs> I might cry right now. That's, that movie is so fucking sad. I don't... I can't. I don't know if there's anything sadder than that. Say... <laughs> fuck, dude. Uh, say, I hear you three are fighting the Heartless. I thought I might be able to help you, so I made this. Obtain Geppetto. For us? But of course, Pinocchio and I can't thank you enough. We'll do anything we can to help you. Thanks, my guy. Uh, I may or may not ever actually use it, but... What I really came in here for was this. The Wishing Star. Oh, not pause. Close. Uh, probably not going to use the Wishing Star, but compare it. Has a short reach, but always finishes up a combo attack with a powerful critical blow. I mean, guaranteed crits are nice, especially since we're doing the, uh, the low combo lengths, but... Meh. Uh, guard? Yes. I didn't even realize we unlocked guard. And... I don't really want combo plus. Is there anything else? No. Okay. So just save it. Second win, definitely. Ooh, Goofy actually has two, huh? Uh, MP Rage would be nice just so he has more MP to give myself and Donald. Don't care about summons that much. Special moves are always nice. Um, MP Rage. Oh, <laughs> you got the two uh, mixed up with each other. Completed. The two thought the full ti title was Clonod, the flower we saw that day. Forgot that Princess Kaguya exists. That is your favorite Studio Ghibli film, period. I don't think I've seen that one. Is that... Does that have the same name for you and us? Hold on. Close all this stuff. Ghibli. Studio Ghibli. You think so? I know of, like, Princess Mononoke. No fucking doubt? Really? Yeah, no, I've never heard of that one. I'm looking at, like, on, on Wikipedia, which isn't necessarily 100% complete, but I don't even see that one on uh, Wikipedia. Oh, there it is. The Tale of the Princess Kaguya. Yeah, that's one of the newer ones. I've never seen that one. I haven't seen any of them after, I think, Ponyo. I'm pretty sure Ponyo was the last one that I've seen. And then before Ponyo, I've seen all of them except for Tales from the Earth Sea, The Cat Returns, and uh, My Neighbors and the y My Neighbors the Yamadas. I still need to watch those ones, but. Have I seen Whispers of the Heart? I don't remember. It's been a long time, but... 
These are two separate films, my guy. Wait a second. Do you mean the tales of the Princess Kaguya is different? I, I read the message at an awkward time, but... <laughs> Interestingly, that's one of the ones that wasn't made by uh, Miyazaki. And generally speaking, the Miyazaki ones are the ones that, like, people are in love with. At least here in America. Cat Returns is so good. What I've been doing with Noodle since i getting her to, to slowly watch them all is uh, we've just been buying the collection from the beginning of, like, every Studio Ghibli film. You know, started with, uh, what the hell is it called? Castle in the Skies wasn't the first one. This list must be... I don't think this list is complete. Um, Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. We started with Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, and then we slowly, like, uh, have been buying them one at a time. We might have missed one at some point, though, but yeah. The bug one, yes. <laughs> be sure to look everywhere you go for items, Scoopo. Uh, we shall. Have we unlocked any new recipes? We have... Anything I actually want. I don't remember what these do, so probably not. I will synthesize that, though. And then, I guess, just work our way down. So we're just missing the golem chain. Does that change what equipment we want? Yeah, but it was basically, like... <laughs> it wasn't... Studio Ghibli in name, but like it was Studio Ghibli. <laughs> you are technically correct though. Significantly raises max AP and defense. Strength, defense, and max AP. So maybe place that with the master earrings. Boosts fire damage by 20%. Raises max AP and defense. The defense would stay the same with that one, though. Max HP and defense. Max light. Uh... Now, I think, I think we're good with what Sora has. Wait a second. Strength, defense, and max AP. Ooh. Okay, you know what? White Fang. Because we're already getting a 20% reduction in fire. They probably stack, so we could have had both, but whatever. Okay, anything that raises Google Google's Goofy's <laughs> AP, the Guardian Ring, and it raises his defense, which is nice. It's Guardian Ring, max HP and strength. Lose a little bit of strength, gain defense and more HP. Honestly, I'm fine with that. What's this one do? Fire and dark by 20% also raises defense. Hmm. Tempted just to give you the Ifrit's horn for even more AP. Yeah. Or wait, ability, well, ability stud does give you more. But if it's horn gives you other benefits to go with it. And then Donald, we're just trying to max out your defense, basically, man. <laughs> Anything that raises your defense more than it already is, you can have it. Just binge them all on vacation. If I actually had them all, maybe. Um... Are they streaming on anything? The Ghibli films, I mean? I wouldn't mind watching one or two of the uh, Kyoto Animation Studio ones that you were talking about. Though, do you guys have a recommendation for while I'm on vacation that I should give a shot? Adaptation of the Bamboo Cutter, one of the most popular Japanese folktales. The movie will leave you in pieces. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Ghibli or not? Uh, no, for the for the Kyoto animation ones. Because Noodle will actually watch the Ghibli ones. So I'm, I'm watching... <laughs> Shut the hell up, Chocobo. 
<laughs> remind, uh, remind me about Machinima Abridged in like uh, in like a week, my guy, or actually in a few days. I'll I'll try to start watching it. Um, <laughs> but uh, but I meant like the the Kyoto animation ones. Is specifically what I was talking about. Because those are ones that, I, that I'll just watch on my own time without Noodle. Because the Ghibli ones, like I was saying, she'll, she'll actually watch those ones with me. Um, so I'm just going to buy them and, and watch them that way. With her. Plus, I want to collect those ones anyways. Because I grew up with Ghibli and I, I love Ghibli. <laughs> oh, you kill me. Wait, for real? They actually got professional voice acting for, for Machinima Bridge? That's pretty cool. I have no idea who his English voice actor is, because I'm a, I'm a sub guy, not a dub guy, generally speaking. But if he's good enough for my hero, then I'm assuming he's good enough for, you know, <laughs> Machinima Bridge. That's pretty sick. You think it was before MHA? Okay, okay. So that's like how he how he cut his teeth on the whole voice acting thing possibly I need to catch back up that was one that I was keeping caught up on was my hero but I'm definitely not caught up with it at this point After story. I'm I'm curious about the Clanod ones though, to be honest. Like those might be the ones that I check out first, Clanod and Clanod After Story. Just because of what you guys were saying about it, although <laughs> I don't know if I want to be depressed with my entire vacation. But uh <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. Those ones, those ones be sounding pretty good, man. Are they on any uh, streaming service? Like that, that studio's stuff in general? Like, is it on Crunchyroll or Netflix or whatever? I'm, I'm fairly certain I watched uh, Silent Voice on Netflix, so I'm assuming they got a handful of shows on there, but course i guess netflix might be different for you than it is for for me over here in america oh another summon gem let's help this little one here we go bippity boppity boo who the fuck are you learn summon spell dumbo find any more of these stones bring them to me i don't think we have any more right just the one yeah okay we did collect an ansem report though that i forgot to check out number seven I'm now studying material from the meteors that rained down that fateful night. What a find! The material is foreign to our world. It is elastic to the touch, and when two pieces are combined, they bond easily. None of the records I've scoured even mention such a substance. Was it introduced to this world when I opened that door? I wonder how many other such materials drift through the atmosphere of this tiny world. I wish I could soar off and find it. Could there be uncharted worlds up there? My curiosity never ceases to grow, but I should stop speaking of such unrealistic dreams. For now, there is no way to venture outside this world. My people and I are all about are all but prisoners of this tiny place. Haruhi Suzumiya. If you need mystery comedy and supernatural fuel. Intriguing. Where's the book? I'm gonna have to make like a note of this or something though, so I actually remember to <laughs> to look these up. Uh, no, not there. Broad expanse of vegetable fields. Take a look. You got it, dude. Should have peed when I took a break. A little over an hour ago. It's starting to hit me now. There's no chests or anything here that I'm missing, right? Yeah, 
Okay, there's Pooh and Piglet. I wasn't really trying to initiate the cutscene, but whatever. Look, Rabbit's house came back, but it looks like Rabbit isn't home. Pooh's been calling and calling, but the house says no one's there. I bet it does. Who is this person named Nobody? Nobody? Have you seen Rabbit? No, no Rabbit here. There's no one here. Rabbit, you dick. If you don't want visitors, just say so, man. <laughs> Hello, Rabbit. Why, P Poo, what a pleasant surprise. Nice to meet you too, Piglet. And, or see you too, Piglet. Is this a new friend? P Poo, I'm sorry, but I'm all out of honey at the moment. Hmm, you sure about that, dude? Because uh, I see a little something up in the rafters there. <laughs> Looking awfully suspicious, my guy. Sora, do you smell honey? <laughs> I think I do, Pooh. I think I do. This rabbit came back too, but someone's still missing. Some place in the 100 acre wood are gone too. Oh, what to do? Uh, honey, how did that get up there? <laughs> how did that get up there, rabbit? Would you like some, Pooh? Don't feel you have to, of course. Oh, thank you, rabbit. I would like just a small smack roll. I'm quite hungry. Bruh, same. Um, Pooh Bear, you're not eating the whole pot, are you? <laughs> Once you start, there's no stopping you, is there? You should know better, Rabbit. Come on. You knew he was going to eat the whole pot. So glad to have found both Rabbit and some honey. Your love for the franchise is so big that you've actually written German subtitles for the movies. Longest anime movie in existence, if I might add? No, how long? <laughs> Two hours, 42 minutes? That is pretty long for an anime, man. Thinking back of, like, all the, the specials for, like, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and shit when I was a kid. Like, those were usually, what, 45 minutes? <laughs> like... Oh. Uh, did we just leave now? This rabbit came back too, but someone's still missing. Oh, we already got that message. I guess we just leave. If I can find the door. I don't get anything? No? Okay. What if I hit this? And these subtitles are pretty good if you do say so yourself. Hell yeah, dude. You should be proud of your own work. I've never taken the time to subtitle something before, like, by hand. My brother used to do it for, for money. Once upon a time. There's a letter inside. I hope we'll be finding more honey together soon. Signed, Pooh. Um, I forget the name of the company that he worked for for a little while, but it was like an online thing. They would send you videos and you would have to uh, listen to it and subtitle it, but, like, it just took you four years. I mean, hey. You got it done, though, right? That's more than I can say. I've never subtitled anything. <laughs> Four years or not. Oh, what to do? All this because he can't stop liking honey so much. If Pooh doesn't slim down, my house will stay plugged up forever. If only there were something we could do. I mean, I can just, like, smack him a couple times. Oh, help him bother. I'm stuck again. I came in through this hole, so it must have shrunk. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it's the hole's fault, my guy. Oh, how will I eat honey if I'm stuck here? When it's lunchtime, perhaps you could bring me a honey jar. No honey till you're unstuck. If Pooh doesn't slim down, my house will stay plugged up forever. If only there were something we could do. Wait, I know. A bit of carrot top juice will do the trick. I have a carrot patch on the other side of the stream. Carrot top juice is just the ticket to slimming down a Pooh. Oh no! Is that like actually a thing people drink to, to slim down? K 
carrot greens. <laughs> Car carrot green juice. <laughs> Name's Tigger. T I double G R. That spells Tigger. Well, now, I don't think I've ever seen you before. Hello, Tigger. You've just bounced my new friend, Sora. Hey, Pooh. <laughs> Say, you're looking mighty uncomfy today. Is that some new exercise? My bouncing around is a lot more fun. <sighs> Why do you bounce around so much, Tigger? Why? Because bouncing's what Tiggers do best! Speaking of which, my bouncing spot has gone and disappeared! So for now, this will be my new bouncing ground! <laughs> sure, Rabbit's gonna love that, my guy. It's a bit of a hobby for you. I mean, that's a pretty useful hobby for other people I guess <laughs> I'm uh I'm not really hard of hearing or anything like that I, I do have trouble hearing sometimes but I think it's more just uh, trouble paying attention <laughs> um but I still prefer to watch things with subtitles whether it's English or otherwise and um Noodle is actually deaf like she she can hear but she has to wear hearing aids um it's a real pain whenever you're watching movies and stuff like that so Having subtitles is, is a huge boon for things, and I appreciate the work people do in making the, them a reality. Or you're just an annoyed perfectionist. I mean, you know. <laughs> it's so useful. Tigger's bouncing will ruin my vegetables, and if we don't give Pooh some carrot top juice, he'll be stuck forever. Please help me. Keep Tigger away from my carrots. I mean, you could just put him on a diet. Give him nothing but water for a day or two. I'm sure he'll slim down. This is quite a fix, but I have just the solution. Pay attention now. Sora, you'll have to protect this carrot patch. Tigger bounces on a carrot twice, it'll be buried. Once. I, I, I understand you need to give us an example and all, but you're kind of ruining the carrots I'm trying to protect here, Al. Just like that. Protect the carrots from Tigger's bounces and you'll receive points. How you ask? It's elementary. Simply get to the carrots before Tigger lands on them. There are 15 carrots here. Your score depends on how many you save and how many times you block Tigger. Oh, and one more thing. The rush command is the key to a high score. Select rush while near a carrot that isn't buried yet. You'll dash to the target area before Tigger lands. Well, good luck. We got this, dude. I don't actually remember this minigame. How do we know? Beat Tigger to the carrots before he bounces them into the ground. Okay. How do we... Oh, shit, dude. My god. Okay, hold on. What? Oh, my god, dude. <laughs> I suck so bad at this. <laughs> okay. Should we just stand in one spot and then just rush the whole time? Okay, that didn't work. That didn't work either. This is not going well. Can we protect any of the carrots? One, two, three, four. Okay, we got we got a couple. <laughs> we did not do well at all. Carrot save ten. Final score fifty. Okay. I mean, hopefully that's enough. How about those bouncerunies? Well, they were good even for a tigger. <laughs> Like, we could have probably also just asked the guy to not bounce on the carrots. Like, hey, you can bounce around anywhere here that you like. Just just not the carrots, my guy. Thank you so much. Now, I'd better make that carrot top juice. I'll get the carrots, so please wait inside the house. 
Also, could we not just dig up the carrots? Like... Ooh, hey. Do any of these other ones have items hidden in them? We really good at pulling out these pumpkins. I'll do this all day, dude. How many more are there? Do I really want to pull them all out though? Oh geez, there's lettuce too. No, <laughs> no, I don't. So I doubt there's anything more than like a regular item or two in here. Not worth it. Oh, what a day. I gave Pooh the carrot top juice. All we have to do now is push them out. Just a little push to do. We might have pushed a little too hard. My bad, dude. First my vegetable patch, and now this. Oh, bother. Oh, where am I? It's ever so dark in here. Well... It isn't so bad, I suppose. <laughs> there is plenty of honey. <laughs> A C Q U A I N T A N C E. No, you had it right, man. Acquaintance. A good acquaintance of mine has hearing aids. Fully deaf on one side. I wrote my subtitles for the Haruhai movie color coded for each main character talking as an additional aid. Hoping to help many more with it. Hey, that's awesome, dude. That's really, really cool, actually. I appreciate when people do that on uh, YouTube. Because most people that actually spend the time subtitling their stuff on YouTube don't um, color code them in any way, right? Like, they just have everything be in white or whatever. But Tom Scott is a YouTuber that I really enjoy. And he actually takes the time to do that same thing with his videos. He, he color codes each person um, in his subtitles so that whenever people are watching, they can more easily follow along with who's who when they're talking. And I think that's really cool. As somebody who doesn't personally need them, but again, knows somebody that very well uh, may... Unless the TV's turned up to, like, maximum. <laughs> uh, it's it's cool to see that sort of thing. Alright, it is 8.15. We don't have a ton of time left, and I really need to use the bathroom. <laughs> I think I want to get started on the Peter Pan level, though. But I, I do have to go and use the bathroom. I can't, I can't wait much longer. So I'm gonna go and do that real quick. We'll be back in just a minute after I after I go and pee. He was interested in watching the movie like a year ago. He reformatted everything for your final release. You love Tom's videos so much, by the way. Hey, another Tom Scott fan. That's really cool to see. <laughs> I mean, he's a fairly popular YouTuber, so I guess it's not that surprising. But he's not like you know a, a PewDiePie or a Jacksepticeye or or one of the people with billions of subs <laughs> exaggerating a little bit obviously but uh yeah tom scott's really cool i really like his videos i've been watching him for a long time <laughs> anyway so like i said i really got to use the bathroom so be right back have you thought about writing your congressman that's very freaking funny gear up we're going to saint germain the 90th is short-handed so we're getting folded into their unit Looks like your transfer request came through. <laughs> okay. Tell me you wouldn't rather be with those guys. They got the easy part of this. Copy that. They just gotta sit and wait for us. Quiet that up. Okay. On the signal, we're taking this hill. We gotta flank Jerry, because if we don't, the rest of the division can't move through. So, that's it! Move, move, move! Uh... <laughs> we're gonna...
gonna take a break guys and then we'll start our screaming charge towards whatever the hell we're going through we'll be back in just a few minutes Hopefully the bear will drop enough that we can get the mall berry going. Oh god, because we definitely need the health, man. Oh, you dropped something. What'd you drop? Food? Please be food. A muggle seed. That's not... <laughs> that's not very helpful. We're gonna die. <laughs> we are so dead. Oh yeah, nope, that's it. Oh, we got five. Nope, there we go. Okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> We're kind of fucked. Jump! Ah, the fucking double mouth thing, dude. I'm back. Did I miss a boss fight? Uh, yeah, but only, like, area bosses. Not not any of the, the main bosses. So, no biggie. Oh, you know what I need to do really quick, actually? Is plant these other muggle seeds. So we get more, more food. More food, very helpful. All right, area complete. Thank the goodness. <laughs> glide attacks are your friends? Are the glide attacks where, like, the one that, that does, like, a downward swing? Like, that one? Or, like, that one, I mean? Right there? Is that the one you're talking about? Also, I should probably absorb some of this shit. All right. Pick up my muggles. Yeah, the second one. I thought that's what you meant, but I wasn't positive. And we used our ancient thing, so we have no more revives, which is not very good, especially for, uh, you know, whenever we get to the area boss. Pectin, the Book of Botany, Baromet, also called the Scythian Lamb, is an amazing plant that grows sheep instead of fruit. The meat that comes from these sheep is at least as good as that of normal sheep that takes months to raise. What? That sounds weird as shit. We are pretty hurt, though. Also, if you ever can, there's a necklace that reduces poison shit. I think the shopkeep actually did have that. I'm not sure I had enough uh, gold to pick it up. We can go back and check in just a moment, though. Also, I noticed that the Cubs Bane says it's poison. Does it actually hurt us if we eat it, or... It... No. <laughs> just, just out of curiosity. Uh... Baromet. Ravens with 12 bosons grow sheep with high HP recovery. Okay, so we probably want to grow some of that. 30 HP, 120 EXP. Can we get another level from one of these muggle seeds? No, it doesn't. I honestly forget what I asked. <laughs> uh, hmm. <laughs> I, I'm sure I asked something. That was uh, semi-useful to know, but uh, <laughs> I forget what it is. All right, I'm back, but my headphones died while I was downstairs, so let me plug them in real quick. a break did that just happen yes yes it did he played odin's here i did play odin's fear uh like uh chocobo said i did i didn't like 100 percent it or anything but it is one of the games that we played through to completion um it's been a little while at this point but yeah i want to go back and play the remake of it re-release whatever you want to call it one of these days because the person who recommended it to me and a uh Another one, Valkyries Grace, I think is their name on on Twitch. Anyways, uh, they were they were watching, um, and and they also recommended the re-release of it. And uh, so one of these days, whenever I do decide to like 100% it or just give it another try or whatever, I want to go back and, and play that version. Really good game, ton of fun. Love the art style. 
I wish I could remember the name of it, but there was another game that I just saw the trailer for not too long ago. Um, I think I was watching YouTube and it popped up. And it looked... The art style looked very similar to that of Odin Sphere. It made me it made me want to play it, but I've forgotten the name. I'm pretty sure I have it saved on my, my list of things on YouTube. Like, either my, my list of stuff that I don't want to forget, or maybe my list of game trailers that I have, one or the other. It's on there somewhere, though. But yes, because, uh... Really good, really good. Um... Rue is the one that actually suggested it. That I give it a try. And I'm really glad I took them up on that. A big ship is catching up to us. Oh, snap. Gravity rush just popped into your head. Gravity rush. Looks interesting. I think... Was it Gravity Rush 2? I don't know. I might be mixing it up with something else. One of the screenshots for Gravity Rush 2 looks really familiar. For one reason or another. But I might be mixing it up with something else. I'm not sure. You know what game I've really been wanting to play but haven't I played yet? Near Automata. Sora. I really want to play that Good game one of these good days. And Chocobo's been wanting me to play Neo for a long time. Goofy. Just, again. That important to you? <laughs> too much things, too little times. Instead of worrying about them, you should be asking about her. Kyrie. That's right. While you were off goofing around, I finally found her. Not so fast. No shenanigans aboard my vessel, boy. Riku... Why are you siding with the Heartless? The Heartless obey me now, Sora. Now I have nothing to fear. You're stupid! Sooner or later they'll swallow your heart! Not a chance. My heart's too strong. Riku! I've picked up a few other tricks as well. Like this, for instance. <sighs> You can go see your friends now. Ah! Let's get underway already. What a dick. <laughs> and keep Sora away from Kyrie until we're ready to land. <laughs> that scurvy brat thinks he can order me around. What shall we do, Captain Hook? Nothing. The hold is crawling with heartless. Let them keep an eye on the brats. But, Captain, you know who is also down. Shh. Did you hear that, Smee? Oh, that dreadful sound. No, Captain. Are you quite sure? Did I imagine it? Oh, my poor nerves. Um, when I was downstairs, Tom Scott, his video where he sent the garlic bread into the stratosphere no, popped into my head. Yeah. Noodle hates that video. <laughs> Because for whatever reason, I don't know why, but that video specifically, when I just like leave YouTube up and running, whenever like uh, I, I was watching it and then we leave the house and I forget to turn it off the TV or something like that, right? For some reason, that video plays all the time. And it's the full version, the extended one, where like the GoPro footage that he sent up with it. So Noodle just gets annoyed with it because we'll come home and there will just be a piece of garlic bread floating through the stratosphere or uh, we'll wake up in the middle of the night and there's the garlic bread just floating around <laughs> and she gets so annoyed with it and i think it's hilarious dude <laughs> like, right. uh, yep. well, let's go up and talk to her yeah sounds great okay but first how i did that oh <laughs> sorry Nier has an anime adaptation that started airing Sunday. Ooh. A lot of people are going crazy about him for How good reason. It might be a drop-in replacement for the game. Up? I mean, generally speaking, I enjoy playing games. So I don't know if uh, I would watch that instead of playing it. But I might do both. <laughs> Who are you? 
I'm the answer to your prayers. <laughs> okay then, fine, have it your way. But you're stuck in here too, aren't you? Huh, no, I'm just waiting for someone. Who? Tinkerbell, what took you so long? Great job. So you found Wendy? Hold on. There was another girl there too? Are you crazy? There's no way I'm gonna leave Wendy there. Uh -huh. She must be pretty jealous. Oh. <laughs> 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 On, Love Tink. it, Tinkerbell. Open up the door. <clears throat> if you want to kick his ass a bit more, dude, that's fine by okay. me. <laughs> I'm Sora. Okay, we're in this together, but only till we find Wendy. I don't really like Peter as a character. Not gonna lie. Place first, then watch after the game's completion. Yeah, that's most likely what I would do. Kind of like uh, reading a book before watching a movie or whatever. Although sometimes there is benefits to doing it the other way around, right? Specifically because with movies, they so often screw up the book <laughs> or leave out a lot of details. So then by going back and reading the, the book afterwards, like if you watch the movie first for, for some property, you're probably going to enjoy it, right? And then if you read the book, you can still enjoy that because it's, it's almost universally just better. Whereas if you read the book for something first and then watch the movie, oftentimes you're just a little disappointed that your favorite part of the book didn't make the cut or that they left out this character or that they, they rewrote this scene or whatever, right? So sometimes there are benefits to doing things the other way around. But I get what you're saying, yeah. I, I, I would probably do it in that order anyways, to be honest. I gotta check and see if I ever picked up that game. I don't know if I actually own Neo yet. I know I have the Neo games that Chocobo has been recommending forever. I should put one of those on the, the list of games that people can vote on for completion. I might do that, actually, now that I think about it. I try not to have too many non-PS2 games on the list, because the channel is mostly focused around PlayStation 2 stuff. But, uh, I don't know. It's not a bad idea. Waiting for the anime adaptation of Genshin Impact. I, uh, I would probably... Genshin is an MMO, right? I don't think I'm mixing that up with, with, uh... Yeah, okay. Because there was, wasn't there another game that came out recently that looks vaguely like Genshin? I might be thinking of something different. I don't know. Much story, many lore. I, uh, I like MMOs, but if you couldn't tell by how much complaining I've been doing about the lack of time I have in my life, I just don't have the time to play MMOs. Um, I've been wanting to finish Final Fantasy XIV and Elder Scrolls Online for a long time and haven't simply because no time. So, uh, just the idea of throwing another MMO into the mix is, is a no-go for me man <laughs> like so for that one i would probably watch the anime before i play the game like yes yeah, so stream win <laughs> uh, i haven't said anything in stone because i don't know how busy i'm gonna be during my vacation but there is a possibility we'll do an extended stream one of my vacation days last year we did i think it was six hours for my birthday um we might do that again i don't know Six hour stream doesn't sound too bad. I don't know if it'll literally be on my birthday this year, but like Genshin is a single player experience anyway, dude. I mean, I do appreciate that. I prefer playing my MMOs as single player games most of the time. So I mean like, like back in the day when I played RuneScape, I never partied up, I think a single time. What time I have spent in ESO and Final Fantasy 14, I, I hardly ever partied up like it's online, but that's it. How long is the game, though? Like, is it super long? Because most MMOs, you know, like, oh boy. Not multiplayer necessarily. Okay, 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 okay. Like I said, I've never actually played it. I've, I've watched some videos on, on a little bit of the lore of it. Just a tiny bit of the lore of it. Not much. And then uh, whenever it first came out, I remember some trailers and things for it, but... And since then, I've just heard people talk about it. 
so I don't know a ton about it, TBH. 20 hours at the current? Maybe that's not that bad, actually. 20 hours is pretty doable. 30 as well. I mean, I'm, again, like I mentioned before, I'm a guy that really likes JRPG games and whatnot, so 20 to 30 hours is pretty par for the course for the, the type of games I generally like to play. I found myself missing shorter games lately, though, as I've gotten older and have had less and less time to play things. Like, uh, I haven't finished it, but, but when I was playing through the new God of War, just as an example, well, the 2018 God of War, not, not the new, new one, but, uh, I found myself kind of missing whenever God of War was, you know, a six hour game, not a, not a 20 hour game. Much easier to actually complete games whenever they, uh, have reasonable timelines to them. The time time requirements investments maybe there's a lot of people down here dude good experience from them though 28 a, p a piece I like If we do do, like, a six-hour stream or a longer stream or something, um, I would also like to play a little bit more Pokemon TCG with people. It's been a while since I've played any Pokemon TCG, and I was really enjoying it. Playing with viewers is always just a nice experience, too. So, how come you can fly? Anyone can fly. You want to try? Aw, uh, haven't you cooled off yet, Tink? Just a little bit of pixie dust. There, now you can fly. 56 hours casually. That, that's a little more than 20 or 30, my guy. Still not unreasonable compared to, like... A lot of JRPGs. I mean, if you look at a Persona game or, or something like that, you know, <laughs> like. So but yeah. The chosen one. There are seven. Supposedly. Pick any number in between. And Maleficent says she's not one of them. Hoist anchor as soon as possible. Leave all the dead weight behind, including her. After the trouble of capturing her, and why those seven? What is Maleficent planning anyway? Who knows. As long as it means getting Kyrie's heart back, I couldn't care less. <laughs> You're wasting your time. The Heartless have devoured that girl's heart. I'll stake the other hand, it's lost forever. I will find it, no matter what. Uh, Captain? What? The prisoners have escaped. What's more, Peter Pan is with them. <laughs> Blast that Peter Pan. All right, then. Bring the hostage to me cabin, Smee. Hop to it. Wardy, if you're fast, anything under only with glitches. I, uh... Oh. I'm terrible in games of, of uh, staying on task. <laughs> I tend I tend to be one of those people that likes going the wrong direction, finding things, doing side quests, stupid shit like that, or just exploring if the game's, you know, pretty enough. Um, if I do ever play Genshin Impact, I probably won't try to 100% it, because, you know, 492, that's a little more than I think I got time for, but, uh, <laughs> I feel like I'd probably inching up on that, that 70, 80 hour mark, most likely, if I tried to complete it, or finish it, rather. Peter? Peter Pan? Wendy! Please, hurry! The pirates are coming! What? I'll be right up there. Just hold on. Wendy? Yes? Is there another girl in there with you? Oh, why, yes. But she seems to be asleep. She hasn't budged an inch. Kyrie? Kyrie! Uh. Ah. 
What is reaching up like that gonna do, my guy? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh. Wendy, hey, let's get up there. Maybe if you were a little more focused on getting up there instead of just reaching out your hand. Dispel G. Yeah, see, that's the one we can't pick up. Uh, is there anything else? Ooh, there's a hole in the ground. Oh god, man. This place confuses me. Trinity? Sure. Okay. Uh, before we do that, let's go ahead and heal up and stuff. And then, sure. <laughs> Climb on up, dude. I have no idea. I don't remember the layout to this place basically at all. It's a very cutscene heavy world, though, ain't it? Riku, wait! Genshin will not let you be on task if you're not that kind of person. Oh boy, yeah, we're probably screwed then if we ever, if we ever do give it a try. <laughs> because I am I am not the kind of person to stay on task with stuff, man. I'm terrible at hopping on side quests, uh, collecting every little thing that I see. That's something I'm really bad with, like Elder Scrolls games and stuff like that. If I if I see a uh, something on the side of the road, like a flower that can be picked or something. Even though I know I have a million of them already, I'm terrible at picking it up anyways. So honestly, that game just sounds dangerous to me, dude. <laughs> if we do play ESO, would you guys rather? I guess I'll probably do it on the PS5 if I do play it. Just because I know a couple of you already have it on PlayStation. So it makes sense to uh, to maybe start a game on there. So that if I ever do decide to party up with you guys or whatever, then it's on the platform everyone else has. I guess your favorite Zelda game by that standard? I mean, I'm going to guess that it's probably Breath of the Wild, but... Uh, I mean, as far as I go, man, pick any Zelda game, and there you go. <laughs> That's a good game, dude. I don't think I've ever played a Zelda game I didn't at least enjoy. Definitely some better than others, but all A-tier games. Oh no, how did you figure that out? <laughs> I know, I know, surprising, ain't it? This dude's annoying. Just die, you shadow bastard. That would probably help if I actually hit you. Oh my god, dude. Why can I not hit you? Oh my god. I'm just getting annoyed. Just die, you bastard. Stop sinking into the ground. <laughs> I hate you so much. Oh. Come on, get out of the way, Donald. I'm... This isn't even the right one. There we go. I hate enemies that disappear, dude. Come on, you're like, you're basically dead, dude. Oh, God. I didn't realize how low on health we were there for a moment. Just hit him, please. 
There we go. Thank God. <laughs> Raven's Claw. I don't remember all of the equipment having such interesting names. Reduces dark damage by 20. Also raises strength and defense. Am I using all of my AP? I have not <laughs> seen Phase Zero or Demon Slayer. I may have seen a couple episodes of Demon Slayer, maybe. There's there's one that I've watched a couple episodes of, but never got around to like continuing. And I can't remember which one. So there's a chance that was Demon Slayer. <laughs> but no, no. Not enough of it to really be worth like saying that I have. Okay, so I don't need the AP right now. So all of this raises. Significantly raises max AP and defense. Slightly raises strength defense in it. But this raises strength and defense more. And reduces dark damage. Let's do that. So now Goofy, maybe instead of that one, you could have, there it is, the White Fang. Defense goes down a little bit. That would also take your HP down, but whatever, dude. You have so much, you're fine. Gives you one more AP, huh? Guess rocket. Same studio is doing the Genshin anime. Their animation quality for action scenes is basically unrivaled in the whole in industry, which makes you hype for the adaptation na naturally. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I can see why. So there's a decent chance I'll check that out before I play the game. Oh, that's what we forgot to do in Traverse Town, man. We forgot to turn in the Dalmatians. The puppies. Um, did we come through the door or up the ladder? Well, we can't go through the door, so. Yes, ladder it is. Oh, God. I think I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. I tried to hit the mute button, but didn't quite reach it in time. Can I go through the door now? I can. Oh, wait. The door just takes us back over here, though. Oh, I forgot. We actually have the, the guard command now. Don't know how useful that is in big groups of people like this, but, like... Have I seen the Demon Slayer fight scenes? They're indescribable. Like, I can't even remember for sure if I've seen Demon Slayer, so I don't think I can answer that, <laughs> to be completely honest, man. Uh, this way, maybe? Nope, can't go through that door either. Okay, down then. Have we been in this room before? I just, I can't help but notice there's a chest over there that we completely missed somehow. If, so I'm pretty sure we came through here. Maybe a cutscene forced us through the room. Chainsaw Man, I've only seen bits and pieces of from like YouTube shorts and stuff like that. Oh, that's the Dispel G that we, we can't carry, that's why. No, I, I like all kinds of anime, honestly. Like, uh, um, Black Co Clover, Attack on Titan, um, Your Lion April, 
of course, I grew up with like Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, Full Metal Alchemist. Um, I mean, there's definitely more My Hero. Uh, A Silent Voice was really good. Like, <laughs> uh, I haven't watched much of it yet, but March Comes In Like a Lion is one that Chocobo recommended that I've started watching a little bit. That's been uh, pretty good so far. I feel like I feel like that's a pretty decent range of anime, but Like obviously Full Metal Alchemist, Dragon Ball Z, stuff like that is um shonen, but I wouldn't personally say things like your lie in April and silent voice are shown in. I don't I don't think they are. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. You've started some Gatsu no Lion? You will finish it. It looks and feels stunning. So Chocobo recommended it and uh, he hasn't led me wrong yet, so I do want to finish it. I just haven't had the, the time to watch more than either the first. I, I watched one, maybe two episodes. Like, probably make you crumble into a mess, but that's all right. Yeah, that's a, he actually recommended it to me one day after talking about um, your lie in April. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chocobo, you're an intellectual. I agree. He is. He is. He's got good taste. Where the hell are we going, man? I don't remember. <laughs> it's also thanks to him that I watched uh, Neon Genesis as well. Can we open this? No. We open it from the other side, maybe? Not that it really matters, I guess. Okay, so if we come down here. I think there's only the one exit from this room, right? Not including the one we just came through. <laughs> yeah, cause, I mean, Neon Genesis is an, one of the many that, like, I had heard of before, of course, but I had never actually, like, sat down and watched, and he was like, no, seriously, you gotta, you gotta give it a chance, man. So I did. Um, actually, during my last vacation, I, uh, I finished it up, and I, I don't even know what to say about that one, like, <laughs> it is, it's a show, it's really, really good. But the 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 whole plot of it, especially the ending, like it was easy enough to follow until the ending came around. And then after I finished the the show, I, I ended up watching like two hours of YouTube just on like different explainers and uh, theories on on the ending and what it all means and all that BS. Like the the whole show is definitely a bit of a mind fuck. Like, <laughs> but really really good. I wanna, I wanna go back and watch the uh, the movies here next, but I haven't seen them yet. I've seen, um, yes, because I I've seen the, the 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 one movie. I just haven't watched the. Oh, what are they? Was it End of Evangelion that I watched? Rebuild, yeah, those are the ones. I haven't I haven't watched any of the Rebuild yet. You think I should stay away from my? I, I'm not going to lie, I did want to watch them. Um, I'm assuming you're not much of a fan, though. <laughs> As a foe can completely stay away. <laughs> All right, then. Is 
I think I found my new place to grind in between weeks of this, though, dude. There's a shit ton of enemies down here, and each one giving 28 experience. It's not bad. And they just keep fucking coming. Is it never? Is it never in ending? <laughs> they are very pretty. And then you reply, "You gotta support my cause, damn it." <laughs> oh. So from what I've read about it, like online, they they don't seem to be too hated or anything like that, but. I have only read a little bit, like I haven't actually watched them, obviously. They're gorgeous, but the story is awful. I mean, at the end of the day, do you really need a good story? <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. Lost you with the third movie? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I might still end up watching them sooner or later. I don't think you've dissuaded me from watching them. Um, excuse me? <laughs> He's behind the wall, dude. <laughs> like, how the hell did that happen? Can I thunder him to death? Is that working? It is, okay. First two are rather good. Third movie's just all downhill. All right, then. <laughs> so if I do watch them, maybe stay away from the third? Question mark? But if I do watch the first two, like, I'm going to want to watch the third. Except for the EVA Mark VI. That's the, the one good part of that movie. War's not worth enough to be mentioned in conversation. Only good thing about the third. One. Gotcha. Oh my god. Okay. At some point, can't we open these windows? I thought we could. What am I missing? It's gotta be in that room where we fought the shadow version of ourselves. I gotta be missing something there. Okay. Ladder to nowhere. Got it. Uh, speaking of that room, where... Where is it? My food's almost done? Thank you, Noodle. She's making me manwich. She does not like manwich. <laughs> not even a little bit. I'm like 90% sure it's not true, but I remember reading a story on how manwich came to came to exist. I read it on the internet, so like again, 90% sure it's not true. But supposedly there was some cannibal dude that had guests coming over. So he cooked up a bunch of human meat and uh he needed something to, to flavor the sandwiches with so he mixed up a sauce of like ketchup and things like that and mixed in with it while he was cooking it and uh that's how manwich was born because like they they really liked it and eventually they found out you know what was going on obviously because the story exists um but it was so good that they they recreated the sauce and then obviously switched it to a hamburger but yeah exactly that's what i'm saying like it's it's a fun story but like obviously fake doesn't need seasoning <laughs> oh. the natural flavors of of ground men just uh is enough for you eh the can didn't open all the way and sauce got everywhere oh that sucks I hope there's still enough to at least flavor the meat.
Okay. I thought we had to go through... Oh, oh, hold on. Ah, there we go. There's a hole in the floor. As long as it's kosher. It's not like a bad idea, and it definitely was, but if you watched the entire the EVA franchise the first time like a year ago within a time frame of 96 hours, <laughs> I hated my entire Lindsay. existence afterwards. Oh, man. Come on, Tink. Not now. Well, this is as far as I can go. I gotta help Wendy. Yeah, that, that show definitely screws with your head, man. Like, <laughs> that's for sure. It's, uh, it's a lot <laughs> to try to wrap your head around. Protega chain. No equipment. Hmm. How much will the Protega take our defense up? It won't actually. Okay. Let's keep what we got. Should have stopped after end of Evangelion. Yeah, I think uh, for me, I think I watched the movie before I watched the final episode. I think. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> this The layout of this ship has my mind melting, which is fine because it's time to end the stream anyways. <laughs> now, let's not board the gummy ship. Let's save. It is 9 o'clock. And it sounds like my food is probably done. Perfect timing on that, Noodle. So, I think Rebuild can go burn. Why did it block that? I mean, I guess because, like, go burn could be taken wrong. But, like, <laughs> you weren't saying it in a bad way, though. That's fine. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Auto mod is a, a little weird sometimes. Anyways, though, guys. No, thank you all for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit while I played some Kingdom Hearts 2. I do appreciate it and all of the uh, anime recommendations. Real quick, it was uh, C-A-N-N-A-D-A? -N -N no. What was the, the name of the, the Kyoto Animation one? I guess I could just, like, Kyoto Animation. I guess I could just bring up their list of works, too. That's not a bad idea find some things there but uh, what was the one that that is supposedly really sad where is it i'm looking through the list good night chocobo c-l-a-n-n-a-d c-l-a-n-n-a-d there it is okay i just want to make sure to get that on my list before we end of the night that way i uh hopefully fingers crossed <laughs> remember to actually figure out where i can watch it at and check it out one of these days but no, thank you again, guys. I do appreciate you all. I'll be back tomorrow night playing some PS2 something or another. So I hope to see whoever can be there there. Until then, though, have a good night, everyone. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all. After Story second season. Don't start with After Story. You got it, my guy. Don't Google YouTube stuff. I won't. I won't. I I'm, I'm pretty good at avoiding spoilers generally speaking but yeah anyways <laughs> bye bye guys have a good night okay so there's another shop keep down there